be sure I'm currently live. And actually, no. Usually, I don't get to press the go live button anymore. But how is everyone doing today? Why does it say my chat is not working in game? Sting chat. Cannot find supported channels enabled. Okay. Problematic. Why must you always be like this? Can't you ever just work? Never ever just want to work out for me. Relaunch it maybe? Give that a shot. Got one job is to make a working chat app. I think they can do it. Oh boy. That is needlessly large. You Don't mind me just shooting the forest floor as we uh, try and get my chat in the right spot here. That should be doable. <clears throat> it might spawn me just out here in the middle of nowhere. Shoot middle. Says I'm live now. Doing here. Yep, I am 100% officially live. Hopefully, my volumes are good. Everything is good. <clears throat> is it working right? It says it's working right. Who the heck actually knows though? So, what are we actually doing here? We want to do my faction missions today. What's up, Kevin? Thank you for the uh, feedback that it sounds good. Surprise, time to times so people do not give me that feedback. I missed the old setup for YouTube. Be able to hit a go live button when I was ready to go live, but now it's just like you're live. We're at zero to 400 daily progression on our battle pass. Good news, because earlier today when I logged in, I haven't reset yet. Over a little. Nope. Wrong click. Want this one. Thank you. Looking for 100 point rewards, hopefully. Why won't it tell me what the reward is for the anymore? Today it told me what the rewards were. Question effing mark. Really nice knowing what they rewarded prior to this. Fine. Fine. Don't need to give us that information anymore. This should be a long fast travel because loading this place just takes a while for whatever reason. Talk through dinner with my fiance. Did anyone else's headset cord just get fucking twisted nonstop every day? 
I can't say every day or nonstop, but like. Thank gosh that I can unplug it from my headset. I do love these synthizer headphones. Come on, baby, sponsor me. I know I'm tiny and all, but. We just want to live in peace. Don't forget that. Used to be really, 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 really bad with my Logitechs. Like every day, maybe like twice a day, I'd have to untangle the darn things, but. I did just like reset up my whole PC and move it, so. Could also be part of the problem. Talk to Mad Salts, leave no trace. So how are you faring with the blockades? We got most of our people in from the roadblocks, but they aren't soldiers. They don't know how to cover their tracks. They could have led Sentinel right to us. I might be able to help with that. I'll bite, how? Sentinel doesn't review their ops reports immediately. They're too unweedly for that. Whatever evidence those teams found will be sitting on a server somewhere. I get into the system, wipe the data, and then they've got nothing. I just murder them all in the process, because you know. I like it. Consider it done. You just remember, we're in this together. Get the feeling you won't let me forget. Just make sure you're ready for this. Sentinel doesn't look kindly on their intel being wiped. It's going to be in the data center. It was yesterday, there's all the drones outside of it. All freaking high level. Guarantee. Where it is? Where is this one? I'm like really confused at why it doesn't say the actual reward for doing these anymore. They get like sick of people just doing the high level ones. Where is the freaking marker for this quest? Am I blind, everyone? It must be blind. Looking for a green circle, a solid line around it. Did I not select it properly? Is that what's up? Did not replace it properly. I'd like to unpin that one thing. How do I unpin a mission? Um, collectibles. Pins. I think I have vector and. There you go. It's one way around it. Now I have the proper missions pinned, so now I should be able to see where the heck they are on my map. It is right here. Um, closest bivouac I have would be this one. <laughs> really need to just take like a day and go get all the bivouacs so we can just fast travel around. That would be ideal. Super duper ideal. We don't like the color of my right. Fan of just a nice black black salt rifle right now. Nice and simple. Easy. Can I see any other bivouacs closer to the objective with my little spy glasses? Dude, this isn't the spyglass. This is a drone. I already have that bivouac. Bivouac? You were a bivouac. Do do do. Do bivouac? Yeah, yeah, I know. Low service. By the way, we need to head over that wall into 
that freaking zone over there. I think the best option. I don't actually know. I mean, there's usually a wall all the way around. Right? Don't know if we can huff it there. Map looks like we should be able to. About 800 away. And there's something under my dang mouse again. It happens in like every video, every recording ever. We're just gonna huff it. Do a little bit of mountain manning. Why not? For whatever reason, my favorite version of travel in this game is just walking. A few sides. I do like this biome up here. This kind of trees look pretty darn cool. Feels cool being up on top of a mountain like this. I'm a fan. I'm doing good, Zeman. How are you? Zeman, Zeman, Solomon, Solo Man. Ah, I probably just butchered your name all the hell because I tried to correct myself. I was probably better off the first time around. So we got high flown water downhill over waterfall. We will uh, cross up here. Give myself a little bit of a safety blanket. I don't want to get washed downstream, you know. Stream lagging at all? What's my FPS? 51. Well, that's not good because I said I'm streaming at 60 FPS, which probably means it looks like shit to everyone. Why is my FPS so low? Hell. It. What about my game is all of a sudden super laggy and wrong? Everything was great. Settings. Did we break here, everybody? Yeah, everything got swapped to ultimate. No, a lot of these things aren't even going to take effect until I start, which is really going to suck. But if you say you're going to stream in 60 FPS, you should at least uh, a flanker and hex to drop. Open world RNG drops, man. It really sucks. And oh shit, those are hunters. Oh crap. Oh shit. I need to get in this house sooner than later. Hell are the actual dudes? There they are. Get the fuck out of my window. Well, thanks. Well, that guy was the first guy I've ever seen actually just straight up teleport. That was creative. The hell is engaging me from behind? What the heck? Oh, I can't see the light change too much. Take down that drone. Hey, hunters are dead. But yeah, open world drops, man. Uh, it's just the nature of the game right now, and it sucks. Uh, go kill things, and you have to RNG roll it versus every other drop in the whole freaking game. I unfortunately you do not see that many hexes or flackers drop, so I think they're definitely on the rare side. Uh, also, just bad news for you. I am also very much so enjoying this game. Oh, dude, I'm way out in the open. There's way more guys than I thought there were. Put a few rounds on range for suppressing. What up, Red Nose? Good, everybody? Okay. My thoughts on this game are, I feel like a lot of the super negative things are totally blown out of proportion. Um, like, I had a friend message me on Discord. He's like, I hear that people can just buy all their skill points and gear and they go into low-level people's game and rickroll. And I'm like, no. 
Armor doesn't have an armor stat, so it doesn't make you tankier. A level 1 gun is the same as a level 150 gun, damage-wise. I bet it's just like, um... I've had people join my extreme difficulty game, and they have their game set to easy mode, and they look like gods, and they take no damage, and they can face tank everything, and people just don't understand how the scaling and difficulty difference works in this game, where you can play with people on different difficulties, you know? Brazen Thorn. Why, why do you want... Oh, and I already have a video of that thing. Frozen Thorn. That's the freaking gun that shoots the one fire, one corrosive, four fire rockets around it, right? Stay behind the rock. Ear drones. Sea drone. Multiple drones. Can we get lucky with a 50 cal round on one of these guys and just ace them? Get both drones down. Oh, there's a third drone. Look at that. Really want me to shred your little tower? We can play the shred the tower game. Well, this this is not good. I hate shooting these fucking things. Absolutely beautiful mechanic with their dodging and maneuvering, because that's what drones can really do, but like, holy terrifying to shoot. Got it. Where the heck are you running to, buddy? We'll actually aim. Fine. Um, if you had to choose top five guns in Borderlands 3, I don't know. Everyone asks me these kind of things every time I stream, and it's like... Do you want like top five funnest gun to use? Do you want top five like OP guns? Um, which class, which character? There's just so many fucking variables. I mean, really dude, this is what we're gonna do. And I have no more tail, so how does that feel? Cause there's just, and like each different type of weapon and play style has different favorites. I don't know. Why well, I don't make those kind of videos? Cause I don't fucking know. Maybe I'll start making those when I run out of things to do with reviews on, which is actually going to be sooner than a lot of people think. OP in. I hear running. Where are you mountain going, dude? You go. Now, I kind of want his purple loot, but I don't really want to climb down the side of this freaking hill to get to it. So it says the objective is here. I'm just gonna guess based on uh, the terrain here. It's in the tower. That would be my best guess. There was a guy up here. Is he one of the guys that ran all the way out and all the way down? Or is he still just chilling up here like a villain? Like those would be some of the best SMGs in the game by far and like the sleeping giant and stuff I would put up in that category too. I mean, Nighthawking at night is, I would say, like, undisputed king of SMGs. During the day, I think there's things equal and or better than it. I'm being spotted while doing an objective. You know, it's waiting for me to select something, and I'm just kind of like sitting here like, why is it still open? Ooh. That's why you always carry a really, really big gun on your back. Now, how far away did it move my objective? 3.5 km that direction. Oh, I really want that purple item, but you know what? Fuck it. 0.5 in which direction? Also, I just point my character at it so I can follow the arrow. 3.5. 5 would be this way. Closest bivouac we have unlocked is not close at all. But it would probably be this one, and it says, unable to fast travel in fight. I mean, Tsunami was not great at all. Who has me in combat is the best question. Oh, we'll go get this purple if the game is going to do this to me. Ooh. My favorite SMG in the game so far will be this vector. Throw it on real quick.
I should change out my freaking giant 50 cal on my back. I don't really want to, but I should because it's a lower gear score. Swap them on my back. My assault rifle can be my long range weapon. Over quick run until I'm out of combat. Gotta be an underground area over there, something that's got me locked in combat. Kind of unfortunate. Did the people on the side of this helicopter not die? Or were these dudes just sent out here to investigate the crash chopper? Or were they just at this checkpoint when a helicopter crashed in their face? It looks more like what actually happened here. Blue loot? Get another upgrade? No. Should be able to fast travel now. The bivouac. It was direction I thought. Yeah it was, okay. Let's travel to Bivouac. <clears throat> now how far are we from this thing? 1.6. Yeah the foursome, the boomerangs, those things are not that great. That's why one of my original videos was just those three guns linked together. I kind of wish I didn't do it because now I'm starting to run out of guns that I have to do it and I need to farm spe very specific things. I will do it. I will get a freaking review of every legendary in the game, hopefully. Still have a bunch of grenades and class mods and artifacts that we're going to be doing in the next few days, but then I can start doing top lists, I guess. As I've reviewed all the guns, I can actually start to make some educated decisions. Preparation, we'll just go with XP, because why not? And I'll watch my guy sketching his little notebook here for a second. There we go. Now I'm smarter. I learned better. On the chopper, are there any upgrades for sale for me that are worth any decent amount of points? Nope. Well, I leave the bivouac at, I don't know, what, early morning, 3 a.m.? Sounds good. 3.28 a.m. Chilly up here in the mountains, covered in snow. Mm. Where is my helicopter? Power slide. Oh, how much I do not enjoy the flight mechanics in this game. Miss my armor. Breath of the Wild on most, yeah. I've recently been loving the bear cat and stuff on my Moe's, but I'm a grenade build on mine, so. I touch down here, pull out my rifle, flip on the magnifier. Those are civvies, okay. So I, can, I was gonna go land down there, but like, I mean. Not the greatest thing to land on enemies' heads. I do see those guys coming up behind me there trying to find the suspicious noise. What's up, guys? Here, have a helicopter. I don't want this thing anymore. You think you're going to increase the level cap? Not looking forward to refarming. What level are you, man? In this game, um, level-wise, I am... Like... No, 21 is my level in this. I don't get all that much time to play because I make videos and do other things. I don't know if you were even talking to me. Um, are they going to increase the level cap? I can almost guarantee you they will at some point. For one of the expansions, it seems to be something that they like to do and have done in the past, so... I do need to move my chat here. I don't know if I just look like I'm doing weird things to you guys. It's because I'm moving my chat overlay, which you guys cannot see. Is uh... Your messages were popping up over my XP buff thing in the bottom left then. Corner there. 
We're gonna work our way down this hill. Ish. Here humming. Don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. That is my special drone, not the normal drone. Oh. Playing as the medic class, so I have a medic drone. I just kind of called up here by accident. We are going to spot a little because this is an elite mission and I am by myself. Usually I don't spot at all. I thought they have tire, uh, tires, towers, and there's not always um, full guys in them. Gotta be a bivouac somewhere around here that I'm missing. That other one was just too far away. Or is this one of those bases that just happens to not be near a bivouac at all? Yeah, must not be near a bivouac at all, which kind of sucks. So drone... I really, that's all I care about, is spotting out drones. I'm only seeing the one. Now there's another heavy. Just try while you level up to finish your class's objectives. Why? What happens if you don't do them and you may max level? I'm already level 7 on my thing. I know in the beta is at max level, you could still just do your rank challenges. Guess we're doing this loud and proud and, and up close and personal because I don't have a good sniper rifle. Yeah, I hear you, drone. It's like there's a fatal flaw in all these drones, but they're like power core or whatever is super freaking loud. Usually stealth is on top of the list for military drones here, you know? Or at least it has to be like quiet. Ambient humming sound is a little, little over the top. Oh, I got you. What do they actually do in PvP? I can't say I've PvP'd that much in this game. I've heard it's actually halfway decent in Wildlands and stuff, just for whatever reason we never got into it. It's the first guy you can usually almost always take out with stealth, so we'll take the pistol out. Unless it's that damn drone. I don't even know why I'm stealthing in here. You know, fuck it. We're gonna go loud on this drone right off the bat. Oh. Drone's too smart for me. Oh, I hate these drones. I love them. I think they're freaking badass enemies. But, like, they really, really suck to fight. Get out of here, Heavy. You're a human. We know how to deal with you with ease. My tracking isn't good enough. And like, I don't really suck that bad at aiming, but like these drones, man, I cannot kill them. And like, I know there's people out there a lot worse than I am at aiming. And like, I must... Oh, hey, look at you being all sneaky pushing up on my other side here, buddy. Yeah, well, I can be sneaky too and push up on your other side. Oh shit. Pistol drones aren't that hit. And I hear you walking over here. Heard you walking over there too, sneaking up on me with that shotgun. No thank you. Here, heavy feet? Big guy? Saw him cut across. Where'd he cut across to? Get them, God damn it! Drop him. Your feet. Gotta love my vector. My gear score is 200 and something, and these drones still annoy me so much. Yeah. Well, like, the gear score really doesn't do that much in this game. All it does is give you. I mean, it's not even that. It's the rarity is all that matters. The gear score is just an arbitrary number in this game. Like a level 1 M4 and a level 
250 M4 do the exact same damage. It's just about what upgrades you have for the thing, you know? But people don't understand about the gear. Do, 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 do. Because the rarity just increases the amount and the, like, strength of the passive bonuses on gear. Hello. Stream difficulty my ass, buddy. At least the mortars haven't engaged me yet, which is kind of convenient. I should probably take that thing out before... Ghost Recon microtransactions are as bad as actors and ah, oh, that's just a complete another fucking lie. There is absolutely nothing in this game that you have to buy or have ever wanted to buy. This game is basically a, do you want to fly two minutes to an objective and get a attachment for your gun? Or do you want to just buy the gun or buy the attachment? And like, I don't know why anyone would ever buy something that takes like two minutes to just go get. Even if you haven't identified it on your own map, you can just Google where they are and just fly out there and pick it up. I don't really... Like, it's whatever. I didn't understand a lot of, like, even some of my close friends were, like, all ripping this game apart for its microtransactions. And it's like, it Wildlands was worse. I think they shouldn't be in the game, and I do not like them. But I don't think it's anywhere as bad as people think it is. And, like, the Activision Blizzard is so fucked. Like, they, they're in a lot of trouble right now, so... Is all good. Oh yeah, definitely. The the drones, man. I don't mind the ground. I love the ground ones. They're fun to fight. They're easy. To, they're not easy to fight, but like they're a good challenge to fight all the ones on the ground. But like, man, oh man. Those fucking air drones, man. Just... Uh, that whole dodging mechanic they have is brilliant. I love it, but wow. And like, then there's all the people that are arguing that the game was designed to make you spend money, and it's like, it's no different than any other Ubisoft game, and I think the last two Assassin's Creed, I think, were way worse. And they like actually lock stuff behind levels. This game, like, you can do the whole story campaign at any level. It's not like there's mobs you'll be impossible to kill at level one. Like, you can still headshot a level 150 mob at level one, and he instantly dies, you know? Hey, yellow chest. What bonuses does it have on it? I'll take the maximum ammo plus 20%. I am a big ammo buff. That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. There's a lot of people that don't like the gear in this game, and I can understand why. There's a lot of hardcore people that don't want this to be a looter shooter. I personally love looter shooters and do not mind it, so it works for me. But I get people's criticism. So, but yeah, whatever. But I think this game is, for the first time in my life, I'm just confused. Because even a lot of the people I respect and love watching the reviews and I believe are just shitting on this game like there's no tomorrow. And I feel like I'm playing a different game than they are. Especially when it comes to the bugs that everyone reports. Like I played in the closed beta and open beta for 50 hours total and I didn't see any of these bugs everyone's been talking about. Like I honestly think I'm playing a different game. And like it genuinely has me confused and I've reached out to people who've been playing it and I'm like, do you guys, like, am I losing my mind? Am I just a fanboy? Am I blinded? I don't know. I might be. We looted this base up. Now we need to move over here and actually do the darn objective. I think this is going to be one of those defend the objective things. Actually, the base isn't fully looted. But we can go get that afterwards. So, the laptop is somewhere in this circle. I'm assuming it's not behind a shipping container. It's just a guess, and here it is. I'm gonna have two minutes to defend this thing. I'd really like to know which road they're gonna come up of, or come up to get here. Because the easiest way I've found to do these is just to take them in their car. I don't even let them get out of the car. Or 
Hoping it's this one. Guessing it's this one. Okay. A little bit closer than I would like to be to their spawn. But I mean, I do have a vector that can put out enough lead to just farm these dudes as their vehicles spawn in. This is going to look a little stupid because their vehicles do just literally spawn in for these kind of missions. Um, 100 out of 100 will give you guys that one. <clears throat> if I was like doing this mission like you're supposed to, this wouldn't be a thing. But it is. I love vectors. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I absolutely love vectors. These things just whoop so much ass so fast. So, I killed that thing and directly at the spawn. So, do we think the other vehicle is going to spawn inside that one? Called it. That is hilarious. And now, guess what? A third one's going to spawn in there. Then a fourth and a fifth. Oh, what a shit show. What did I do? What did I cause? This is why just spawning out of thin air is a really bad idea. Oh, reading chat, not paying attention. They're all dead though, cause of Vector. Yeah, that's really what it seems to be. And it's like, if you do buy everything, then what's the point of even really playing the game? Because so much of these types of games and Activision game or not Activision, Ubisoft games right now are just going around and getting all the stuff. Once you have all the stuff, what's the point? That was just a random control that wasn't actually part of my mission. There's also a lot of people that don't like Battle Pass stuff. I'm on the fence about it still. It's very much a like Battle Royale kind of thing, like Fortnite. I don't fully like it. And can we hit that guy, please? Thank you. It's like we'll be swapping to an AK-47 here shortly. Also, I fat finger the wrong key there so many times. It's ridiculous how many times I hit O instead of I. Okay. 121. We have a 127 that can go there because I do like having a long range weapon. AK you can go here. I wish there was a way to save preload out some for gun classes. So, like, I could just say, I want all AK 47s to drop with these gun attachments on it. That would be really, really cool. I know they listened to some of our inventory feedback during closed beta and open beta because that was my biggest concern to them that the inventory management was going to kill this game. I mean, yeah, everyone should be annoyed with microtransaction. And that's what one of my best friends who really, really liked Wildlands' argument for not buying this game is that they just don't have a place in gaming. And I agree that they don't. But the fact that there's not RNG loot mechanics in this game is a step forward for ubisoft but like i understand that there's still just the problem microtransactions in general is being in games and i understand that they're terrible and don't want them here i don't know he's at the point of standing on principles if it has microtransactions fuck it i'm not buying it which is touche more power to him i'm not quite there yet And I feel like this game is a step in the right direction versus microtransactions. Even though you have to pay for the game itself, it's like you can buy exactly what you want. You don't have to RNG loot box for it, which then it's like the same as uh, Warframe, which everyone isn't mad at their microtransaction system in Warframe. And it's like, I understand Warframe is free, so that's how people think it's okay to have it like that. So, I don't know. I think this is better than some of their previous monetization for games, so it's a step in the right direction, but they need to just remove it completely. That's what they need to do. Look at this. We're talking too much here. How much was that actually worth for my battle pass rewards? That was a hundred, so I was correct. What else is there to do? Hack the computer. Still want to know why they got rid of the fucking rewards for these. Oh, 
destroy the transports usually fairly quick. See where this one is. Oh, it's actually like walking distance. I'm not actually gonna walk because there's just a vehicle right here. I'm gonna take the damn vehicle. I'm gonna take a vehicle when there's a helicopter. Which I should just take the helicopter. That would be the smartest decision of all. We'll take this car to the helicopter. Even though I'm not sure reversing the whole way here was faster than walking or sprinting. I still, man, I don't, I feel like I'm losing my mind because this game's getting reviewed as like a one star game and I just, I feel like I'm playing a different game. It's the first time ever where I've, my personal opinion has been so drastically different from all the people I respect and believe and trust their reviews of games for and stuff. I'm just... Drones. I hear drones. Drones in this game are so, like, intimidating. This is destroy the transport truck, right? Where is this drone? He's got to be primary target. He is on the back side, and it's an A mod. We're actually going to move to some cover here. Because I don't want to take this thing outside of cover. I'm go way wide. Hopefully, they don't detect me. There's a chance they will, because on extreme difficulty, their view range is a little ridiculous, which is kind of how it should be, but. Do I hear more fucking drones off to my left here? Okay, well, that's not great. If I engage these guys, that thing's gonna come out my left side. Ow! Sons of bitches. But we're not gonna take this fight here. Go all the way around a different location. I do have a 50 cal, so I can try and take these guys out range, I guess. Line of sight on it. Absolutely not. Ooh. Sometimes, game. Put me in situations I don't want to be in. Fuck it. Can't really see, but there should be a truck like right there. I think that went high. Yep, I went high. Darn it. I see you coming at me, drone. Taking panels off of you so I can get to your weak spots. Yep. And too far from the objective. Oh, the objective is driving away. Well, we're gonna fail this mission like there's no tomorrow. Well, I did put in trade kill the driver of that truck, so at least it's no longer gonna be moving away from me. We're in, a, we're in a pickle here. Because now I've got to give my back to all the infantry while this thing is in front of me. And that was a fat finger. We are just dead, flat across the board. Am I going to get Modern Warfare? Probably not. I haven't played a Call of Duty or Modern Warfare game in a long ass time. Long ass time. We want to talk about bad uh, microtransactions. We can, we can talk about that stuff. Plus, well, like, uh, I hate to bring up the political political bullshit, but, like, um, after Activision Blizzard's little whole bullshit thing they just did here with the Hong Kong thing, as a member of the free world, I kind of got to not buy their games. Because, like, fuck that shit. Okay. We're going we're gonna to have another take at this one. We're going to try it again with the rocket launcher. Um, I can totally see what we're shooting at. Fucking got it. That's exactly how it was supposed to go the first time around. I'm not even gonna bother with that. And like, I mean, five dollars. Like, we're gonna talk about microtransaction bullshit. Five dollars for a red dot scope. 
I'm like, I mean, I'm talking about the ultimate, like, douchebaggery, microtransaction people. Activision would probably be up there. They kind of even, like, at some point one up DA on this one. Yeah, but I don't play the FIFA and all that stuff, and I know those are really, really bad with the microtransactions too, but, like, eh. Going for a walk to get out of combat here. Is this thing on full auto? No. That's what I was trying to do last time when I pulled my drone out. They have a whole bunch of overlapping key bindings depending on which version you're in, which sucks. So like last time I hit X not in A mode, so it pulled out my drone instead of swapping fire mode. Part of what made that look so much worse when I just got rickrolled. Not using shotguns. Technically, I don't even want to equip this DE because it's just ridiculous. Do I like the breeder? I mean, it's fun to use. Do I think it's the best gun in the game? No. It's kind of what my review says. Or overview. Can't even call them reviews at this point. How many points was that thing worth in the battle pass? I'm guessing it was a 15er. Yeah, that's... No one likes 15ers. We didn't want a dirt bike. I have elite missions for her I can do. Yes, I do. Should just join a public lobby to get these done faster. I know that's like one of the smartest ways and fastest ways to get your dailies done. Modern Warfare 2, ha. Ah. Yeah. I think that might be the last one I ever actually played. So, I guess I can't like super disagree with you on the Glory Day thing. Every time I come here, I want to just run and jump off that cliff, but I don't have the parachute perk. I also don't know if you can respec in this game. That has me concerned, like, spending my points. Like a hidden stockpile of theirs. It's not even hidden, though. It's, like, super visible from the mainland, whatever. Pretend like they know what they're doing. I'm about to become exhausted and start... Rolling down the mountain instead of running down the mountain. As someone who has done a mountaineering job when I was younger, I can I can tell you you can slide from the very top to the very bottom of a mountain and not be that fatigued. So I've made snow in my life over the night shift from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Decent sized ski mountains, and I can guarantee you, you can slide from top to bottom. You've done it a lot of times just for fun. I smell a work opportunity coming. Yeah, we're me too. fighting an uphill battle. Every day we're silent, Sentinel gets stronger and smarter. Can't argue with you there. Just got word about a truck full of hardware and electronics. The type of stuff that could really help us figure out how to close the gap. Up our sabotage game. Blow up some shit. Listen to yourself. Thanks for explaining what so you mean by your sabotage you were a game. Bunch of kids playing war in the woods. And now we're the only ones paying attention. Sentinels gotta fall. What do you care how it happens? Alright. I'll grab the truck. Thank you. But be careful. It's not gonna be easy. Uh, I'm sure it won't be that hard. But that's fine. So we doing here we were gonna do this join public matchmaking faction effort we get some people to join in on me so this one said it was off to my right up here have any of these bivouacs yes i do look at me first time ever going to this bivouac Do I want anything from Panera? The answer would be no, I do not want any of this. That's from Found. Would you like to join now? No, I would not want to join one. I want people to join mine. Thank you. Ah. 
I like being host. 700 away? Yeah, we can walk that. Get some exercise in. It is my favorite way to travel around in this game. Dramatic, buddy. Just stand up. It's fine. It's like a one degree hill. At first, I really loved the slide mechanic. I thought it was cool for steep terrain, but then like it starts happening on not that steep terrain. And it's like, hmm. Session found. No, I really, really would like to be the host. Damn you, game. base here off to my right that I don't really have any interest in so we're just gonna run past these guys hopefully the drones don't actually spot me as we kind of just skirt by it said skirt by for you drone you didn't see nothing you're a pig Unhappy pig. All right, everybody. Oh, I missed. Missed again. Missed the third time. Your lucky day, pig. That's embarrassing. Pig should drop protein, which is crafting material. Not just like I'm killing it out of uh, malice. Do you want to eat it? That freaking spread though on that desert eagle. What's she doing here? Secure the network of info on the target in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, locals. We are here for intel. Are you all dead in here? Yes, you are. This would just be like a piece of paper that I just happen to know is in here that has the info I need on it. And by piece of paper, I mean laptop. And now it's one of those cringe moments where I'm replacing a really good sniper rifle with what I consider not that good of sniper rifle. Just because gear score numbers. Just ignore the chair I wedged in between me and the desk and it's glitching out because it is still a Ubisoft game no matter how you want to cut it. It's okay chair. It's fine. I know it's a hard world and you're glitched in there and you're freaking out. Have a bivouac near this object. Okay, this way. In, it's kind of close, but across this bridge, there's a base there, base there, base there. We will take a jeep. My uh, conclusion of that analysis of my map. Uh, we will experience Ubisoft driving in all of its glory. Personal waypoint at the halfway mark. Just to help with navigation. Whoa. Fine, guys. Oh, martial law thing where there's no civilians driving around really does make it really easy for them to tell when a Jeep is one of theirs or one of ours. It does make the world feel a little bit empty, but it's kind of the whole aesthetic they're going for, so it's understandable. What's up, buggy? Didn't see nothing. Hmm, it's another vehicle in front of me. That one has a fucking gunner, so we are not gonna just buzz past that thing. We're gonna get out and walk the rest of the way. It's only 500. I do not have a gunner or another person playing with me to help me deal with that situation if I'm getting blown to bits by a minigun as I pass up that guy. Things just wouldn't end very well. I love the random green ass camo they throw on some of these guns. Looking like a halfway decent base up here. I feel like with my less than perfect weapon loadout currently, <laughs> I have a Desert Eagle on AK and this shitty sniper rifle, wow. I shouldn't just be running up into this thing. But we are. That's what we're doing. Especially in an elite mission by ourselves. First happens, I die. What's up, goats? You guys wanna help me? 
Like, give you guys like a sidearm or something. You guys can run up in there and blast some fools for me. So I'd bust out my pistol and silence the press kill some of these guys, <laughs> but I have a freaking desert eagle. Take off your head. Ooh, he dropped a yellow. Now I really don't want to die. And that's going to make me play kind of stupid. They got those dual shotgunners. That's a pain in the ass spawn to deal with. You know, if you guys would just stop shooting your guns off up in the air like you don't give a fuck all the time. Hello. Shoot the left of his head in our head. Maybe you guys would start being alerted more when there was actual gunfire. You know? Not just think it's like Jimmy and Bob fucking off. It's your head. Off with your head. Your footsteps are rain off to my right. Is that what I hear? I don't know. We're just gonna grab the yellow, so this isn't all for not. Is an upgrade. What bonus is this thing? Technique cooldown and health regen speed. Interesting. Is that drone I hear. I think I heard a drone. Want to hear drones? Hearing drones is bad for your health. Not pissing clear. Yep, that is a fucking drone I heard. Where I need to get inside. Ow. Yeah, I got you too, buddy. Nope, no thanks, buddy. Rather not deal with your explosives right about now. So just like... It's so weird and like you feel so threatened when you're fighting a drone. I don't know what it is about them. Like it's just like borderline terrifying. The thought of these things. The fact that it's not like a living thing that's trying to kill you is so weird. I do pen myself because I'm just carrying a whole bunch of them. Got it. I don't even know what it was. I know it's a drone because they hit like Mack trucks, but I am playing a medic. So I can self res, but we need to res, finish the animation and GTFO before I get one shot. Thank you, Simon. That's awesome. C moon, C minus moon, that thing. Do appreciate that. And the kind words are nice. I don't plan on stopping the grind, so I hope it picks up too. Do we just use a rocket launcher and finish this thing off? I think that's the call here. Maybe not finish it off, but at least get it to the point where I can easily finish it off. There we go. We got this. Push out. I don't hear any more drones, and the drones are the only things I'm really scared of. Then shotgunners. If shotgunner sneaks up on you in this game. It is going to hurt. Feels like you just got hit with like a 50 cal. Oh, we don't use shotguns or LMGs, or I don't. Not my fan. Not my kind of gameplay, especially solo. I'm really good in support and in, uh, in groups. Definitely having one of those is super useful, but. Bad loops. It says the truck is back there, but I kind of want to loot this place a little. Please open box. Thank you, kind sir. Plus one skill point. Can never argue about that. Your sniper. Is that the radio call I'm hearing? Yep. Well, we traded rounds and both of us missed like the scrubs we are. Have you played Witcher 3 and Skyrim? Well, yes, I have played both games, and I haven't gotten that far or beaten either one of them. Because unfortunately for me, fantasy games and like medieval swords and stuff for the most part, I don't know, it's just not my thing. Great games, I loved them. 
But like, I just, I can't get super sucked into them, but like, Mass Effect, Division, Modern, Sci-Fi, or Post-Apocalyptic games, man, those I can play all day, every day. Love. But... A lot of people are like, how did you not play all the way through them? And I was like, I don't know. I just didn't get sucked into it, man. And both those games I've actually tried multiple times to play. Because there's been some, like, gaming funks where there's nothing to play, and I'll fire one of those up. And I just don't get that far. These be... Eh, it's equal to. And I prefer the DMR... By like a million times over that other sniper rifle, which I can't even know the name of off the top of my head. Should look at it, but like I don't care about the name. It's just a garbage sniper rifle in my mind. There will be gun reviews and stuff of this game. This one will be a little bit more um, like in depth. Or not even say in depth, a little more specific, just because this game has hard numbers. Like this gun does this much damage. We're like going over statistics and numbers and Borderlands 3 is totally insane. So you can have a gun that does 5 damage or a gun that does 2,000 damage and everything in between. So like reading stats off on guns is just totally pointless. What'd you think of the latest Mass Effect? Personally, I didn't mind it. I think it's stupid that EA just ditched it and that they didn't continue supporting it. And as for the ending like originally... I thought it was lazy that they copy and pasted the endings and there wasn't that much difference between all the three endings but I didn't mind the ending itself like I thought it was a really cool take and my mindset is like there are that whole no win situation where yeah we isolated all of humanity it sucks but like it was a good way is what needed to be done but I don't know Or was there another one after the, the trilogy? Is that why I'm wrong? Because... Like, personally, I love survival games, and I love, like, the wave defenses and all that stuff. So, like... Yeah, Andromeda. Yeah, it was just that they ditched it really sucked, you know? What do I think about the story writing in Borderlands 3? Well, this game I'm currently playing is getting shit on as being an absolutely terrible, 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 terrible story. And I am loving the story in this game, and I think the voice acting in this game is amazing. And part of me wonders if that's because I've been sitting through the Borderlands 3 campaign non-stop over and over again for, like, ever since it came out, and it hurts my soul, and I cringe so hard, and... I'm at the point now where, like, before I go to bed, I'll start a new character just to have it made. Just so I don't have to sit through the freaking, um... 15-minute cutscenes at the beginning. And then I'll just, like, exit out of the character. Like, it's it's really bad. The story is absolutely... Absolutely cringe. But yes, I loved Fallout. I've played through that game multiple times. And there's been a few times I have fired up Fallout. Not 76, the last one, and... I would play through it again with all the mods and everything I have if the inventory management was better. Because the inventory man management in Fallout 3 is just... Uh, it's so... It's so console-y. Sorry if I offend anyone who has a console. Holy crap, is it annoying. But, like... The story writing in, in Borderlands 3, I just... No. No. There's just... No. There's... I don't need, like, I don't even have words for it. Just no to all of it. 100%, maybe 99% of it is just a no. And, like, I've thought about doing, like, a top three things I would fix in Borderlands. And, and the number one thing is, just for shits and giggles, I would love it if, um... I can't remember their fucking names now. I'm gonna go see their show in Vegas. The Magician Guys. They're in the freaking game. Hold on a second. My brain is shutting off because I'm a dumbass. Penn and Teller. I think Penn and Teller 
should have been the main villains. If you're gonna take characters already in the game and make them the main villains of the game, I think Penn and Teller would have done an awesome job and been way more entertaining and funnier than Clipso Twins that are fucking atrocious. You had to stick with the social media theme. It's like, just pull up Google and type in social media drama and BAM! You wrote an entire campaign story of funny, hilarious things that you could make meme jokes out of in, in Borderlands 3, but nope, they didn't do that once. It's like they took every single intro and outro of every YouTube character in any game ever or in every video and just tried to make characters out of just the intros and outros. You know, it's like... I love the gameplay. I love the farming. I love I love everything other than the story in Borderlands 3. Uh, the other thing I would change that would be a huge increase, I would give people inventory space and make inventory management better. By far. There should be another 100 objective thing. The fact that they're not... Sh oh, hey, look. This is how it's supposed to do it. It wasn't doing it earlier today, where it shows you your actual reward for completing these things. 15, 15, 15. Those are 250s. I'm 90% sure I've read things that said it was not the same. So. And if it was, like, they just went way too bad. I don't, I don't even have... I don't know how you could play through that game multiple times in a playtest or even just going through the dialogue yourself and be like, this is a good idea. Like, I just... I don't don't understand it no pinning up objectives at the same time in this game it just leads to horrible horrible things of going the wrong way for way too long going here bivouac is here i mean technically you could call me a full-time youtuber just because i have no other job or income but like, <laughs> I live in a basement and I make n not much money at all off my YouTube channel currently. At the peak of Borderlands 2, you could say I worked a part-time job of worth of income. But like, no, I... My fiance and I are getting married in November and I love her to death for putting up with my shenanigans. But like, yeah, I've been a video game bub my entire life. Um, I have an engineering background. Um, I went to a technical high school and did four years of engineering there. Then probably another five years total college towards engineering. Never got my degree because I'm an idiot. And uh, yeah, school, not for me. So I feel like I've spent my entire life playing video games since I turned 18, more or less. That's all I've done. I've worked odd jobs like here and there. Like I've made snow. I've worked at Toys R Us. I've done shit to pay bills when needed, you know up a budget but i like to refer to myself as a video game bum because i grew up in the skiing world and skiing and uh ski bums i'm kind of the equivalent of a, a video game bum you know how it is uh, i mean i it's kind of just the whole i mean i know how to do networking on the basic end of it i've ran servers i've set up servers but like that's part of being a gamer Um, so the high schooling would be for mechanical more or less just because that's what our teacher knew. I'm getting hunted in the middle of a fucking open area. Um, then the schooling was for aeronautical. Over two different colleges at two different periods, which is why no degree. So everyone, I'm in a cave. I'm hunted. Um, I have zero cover. Oh, there's cover right here. Hey, what's up, man? FPS, you're talking about frames per second ever gonna be fixed? I have no fucking idea. Same time they fix all the FPS crap in this game. Well, thank the lord for this cover because uh, that was easy as hell. It was a weird thing to say for me. Yeah, I remember, man. What are you up to? Yeah, aeronautical engineering is what my schooling was in. And then I've also done like two years of psych and like another year of business. Keep trying to do school. 
because you're supposed to do school but like it just i'm done with it officially did get out of it with no student debt though so like it's not the biggest foul in my life that's for darn sure Did Recon just get released? Um, no. Well, I mean, it came out on, like, the first for early access for people who pre-ordered it and spent way too much money on it. <laughs> like I did, because I have a problem. Um. I hate these drones. These drones really suck. Oh, damn, I pissed them off. Pissed them off. Um, no, it's actually fully released to the public now. I think it came out the 8th. 8th for everyone. So you're good. It's completely out now. It's the first it came out for people who pre-ordered. Go away, drone. Am I looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC? Yes and no. Yes, because I did want to play it on PC and one of my most watched videos in the last few years has been a how to play Red Dead Redemption 2 with mouse and keyboard because I found like the most insane ghetto workaround to be able to play it on your PC while linked up to your Xbox with mouse and keyboard but, like, but I have played it and am I looking forward to playing with proper mouse and keyboard controls yes and I need to not get hit again oh I got hit again ow do I think they're nerfing flag too much? Absolutely, yes. Um, I think there's really... After being someone who played the original flag and him at his prime, like, it hurts to play him now, and I don't really enjoy playing my flag that much anymore. I prefer my Moes and the grenade build. Like, if I actually have to play the game. I still use flag for boss farming, so I still think he's by far the best for that, but, like... The last nerf they did to him made it so there's only a singular play style to play him and that there's only like oh shit that's a fucking Amon drone I'm gonna probably go down here and it'll be GG oh I have to read the patch notes for today I have no win situation here um Maybe double rocket launchers can get me out of this shitty situation. Oh man, I'm animation locked in an explosion. Now nope, that's just GG there. Those drones on extreme difficulty by yourself or a fucking monster. Elf six Zane buff, which wasn't being applied. You gotcha. I've heard like most of Zane's skills were completely bugged. But to be honest, I don't have a max level Zane and I still don't have a max level Amara. We were talking about the story in the game. Who the fuck spawns me underneath 160, like seven patrol of these drones? What is, what is this? No one wants this. Um, that depends. If you have it set to super easy difficulty, no. You can just like face tank rounds all day and it's kind of funny. Um, if you're playing on extreme difficulty like me, yeah, it hurts. Mops really, 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 really hurt. Like a lot, a whole lot. Like you just watched me there. Um, super realistic? I mean, no. I mean, I ate like a grenade round to the back of the head and all it did was injure my leg. I'd be like a paste, pasty-ish in real life, but like, yeah. Yeah, I leveled my Moes to halfway through True Volunteer mode-ish, and then she got bugged on the pizza quest with Tina, and I physically couldn't progress. So I haven't even logged in to see if they fixed that. Otherwise, I would be doing all my upcoming videos on her because they're grenade review videos. And uh, she's the person you should do grenade review videos on, you know? So now we're going to get back to this freaking daily grind quest because I got sidetracked there and stuck in a cave and just all around shitty situation getting hunted and then that a mon drone coming out of nowhere. Well, hopefully they fixed it because that was really stupid um, But like the story is it's it's really really cringeworthy and like I, I Really really want all my characters level 50 so I can do more videos for you guys But like 
I can't bring myself to do like the 10 to 15 hours of just like cutscenes and grinding per one. Like it's so much time. I don't even get to play games as much as it is anymore because I just make videos nonstop. Between the two games, it's like I want to be playing this right now. This is a very fun game to me and I'm really, really enjoying this game. So I log in, I do my reviews, I, I grind a little for gear on my flak. But like I don't play Borderlands 3 like, as a story or anything anymore. I am still doing my let's play on my other channel through my Moes. So like I still play the game, but like 40, 50 minutes at a time just to make some let's play episodes. I do enjoy it, but I have to take it in really, really small bursts. I can't just... Yeah. And the few times I've tried, I like sit here on my phone watching Dragon Ball Z or anime or something on my phone instead of playing the actual game. And like I'll mute the game just to try and get through it. It's really cringy. They nerfed Hex in the latest one. They really? And they're taking away the only way I enjoy playing the game. That's uh, just so irritating. They need to start making other things viable and stop just nerfing things. It's terrible, terrible game design. And it's like if people are enjoying playing the non pvp pve game however the hell they want and just like give us more options to play it op like you know i'll be so sad if they fully nerfed hex i wouldn't be surprised but like i'll be very very sad i mean the porcelain thing whatever that was the low level grenade that you threw in the guy's chest and like insta killed things right or am I completely out of the loop now because I don't pay too much attention to patch notes like I should? I'm just gonna... I'm just in a snipey snipe mood. Aim isn't that good. Ow. Come on. It's just a lock. I can hit it. There we go. Oh, that is what I wanted was all these exclamation marks to let me know where all the enemies are. Just hoping for a double kill on that one. You know, people make fun of the AI being really stupid, but one thing they did a really good job with them is them dealing with snipers. Um, like, if they can't find you and they know they're being sniped, every single NPC tries to move to cover in this game from the angle that you are shooting them at. Bullet drop is all wrong at this range. Oh, didn't lead the target properly. This is why I don't use sniper rifles in Borderlands 3s, everyone. I am an SMG and a shotgun user to the day I die. Yeah, I hear you, helicopter. What are you going to do about it? going to be a bastard? I heard you mortar around. Making my life interesting here. I can do this the hard way, though. And I just double headshot it. Oh, nope. I thought it was a double. Only a single. It's like, I don't know. Instead of nerfing us, like, make some of the mobs a little bit harder. Add a little bit of HP. Make them slightly harder to kill. Buff our guns. Give us different play styles. Let us be OP as fuck if we want to. And for those people that don't want to be OP as fuck in Borderlands 3, don't use metagear. It's not that hard. I don't use metagear all the time because I'm having fun using non-metagear. Oh, don't slide all the way down the hill, please. That would be great. I heard it. The question is where? Where was that mortar? I thought I saw the puff of smoke. There it is. Take you down. Um, are you talking about the game I'm playing now? I believe max level is 30. Hit him. Felt it. Should not have poked your head up again. That was not a smart move. See you. You are just thinking you have cover, but the AI is not the most brilliant thing in this game. You're dead. Someone must have told Frankie that they were getting shot at from the left, so he uh, hit on the wrong side of a rock. I'm okay with infinitely scaling difficulty too. I think that's another better way to do it. 
um, so people can play at their own challenging level. And I think better loot should drop at each tier up. Okay with that, or more loot. I'll keep sliding down here. There is a turret trying to blow my face off, which I would like to find. I see you, buddy. You and your hacks, targeting systems, and AI computers. I'll trade round for round with you. Not the smartest move in the world, but you know. Yeah, I'm okay with Diablo type scaling. Okay with a lot of things. Um, and I'm okay with rewarding players for doing more challenging content. Um, I don't think it should be the only way to get things. Maybe there should be some skins and cosmetics that are the only way to get them is to do higher difficulty tiers, just so you have something to show off for. But like, yeah, there are ways to make it so everyone can do their own difficulty. Even like this game has this really, really cool thing. Like it's 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 mind boggling that a game can do this nowadays. But if you go into settings in here and you go to an interface, there are this many fucking options. Now, what does this actually do in this game? You can scale this game very, very well to how you want to play the experience in a difficulty level. Like, by default, everyone in the bottom right-hand corner of their minimap has little red blobs that show the general area of every single enemy you see. I turn them off because I find it makes the game way too easy. Um, because I tend to use my minimap. I use it a lot. So I was like, no, this is just way too easy and I can fucking rickroll the whole game knowing where all the enemies are. So I... Ow, there's a damn sniper somewhere because I am too busy talking. This is gonna suck. I see him. He's up in that tower. Do I watch One Piece? I have watched some of it, but no, I do not. Have not yet watched all of One Piece. Which is kind of surprising to me because, like, I love Black Lagoon and I've watched all that stuff, and I'm pretty sure I would like One Piece, but I have seen some of it. Right now, I am currently just finished watching all 100 and what? 38 or 68 episodes of Dragon Ball and now I'm going all the way through Dragon Ball Z and then I'll go through all of it. I'll even suffer through some of the really bad series of Dragon Ball just to uh, Cowboy Bebop Up is one of my all-time favorite animes. But my all-time 100% favorite anime ever is uh, Ghost in the Shell. The older one, Standalone Complex and that kind of stuff. I absolutely love that anime. To uh, I just love everything about that. The major and all the characters in that are just amazing. But I absolutely love animes where the top, the main character is a badass, and I love that the main character is not a teenage badass. Like, they're an actual fucking adult who has gone through training and, like, makes sense that they are a fucking badass. I love those things. Like, Marabuto is probably one of the only fantasy animes I have absolutely fallen in love with, and it's probably up there in my second or third, which a lot of people have not heard of that show. But, like, man, she is a fucking badass. I actually subscribed to, what is it? Just for Dragon Ball Z, I did Funimation, I think it is. Yeah, Funimation. On my phone. I watched them as kids and like I lived in Japan because my father moved around for defense contracting. So like I've lived in Japan when they were like originally there and like I'm just revisiting it all. I'm really enjoying it. Haven't seen anything above G2E. I've never seen Kamui Bebop. What's the hype for? Um. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a really, really, really good anime. Um, it's like futuristic sci-fi, but the dude is just awesome. He's just a fucking badass. <laughs> like, it's just a really well done anime. I... The music, the story, the characters, it's just all awesome. Um, I have seen all the Rick and Mortys, I think up until the last season. I watched them on Hulu, I think, whatever. I think I might be behind at this point. Um, South Park, I'm quite a few seasons behind. I did watch quite a few of them. But, like, I don't watch that much TV, and, like, I play a lot of video games. Like, a lot, a lot of video games. So... Like, I'll watch Dragon Ball when I'm cooking, or if I'm doing my photo editing, so you don't need sound for all that stuff. But, like, I basically eat, sleep, spend time with my fiancé, 
And then I play video games, edit videos, and record videos. This is basically all I do. When I have to get ready for a honeymoon in November, man, I don't I'm gonna be like I don't know. I have to make like a hundred videos. <laughs> They're going away for like a week and a half. And I need to do like two to three videos a day to keep up. Oh, it's gonna be ridiculous. Hunter x Hunter have not heard. I will have to see. Um, I'll have to write that one down and keep it on my radar. Like, I really don't watch a whole bunch of anime. I have grown up with it and have watched a decent chunk of it. But... Heard? I don't get caught sleeping. I knew I heard something. I heard a footstep. Shh. He doesn't fucking know. And it must have gone. Hmm? Ah! Oh, yep. Hope you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. That's, that's, just, that's just a bad day. There's no real other way around that one, you know. There's another one I've watched. Some witch one. It's supposed to be like super accurate depictions of historical events, but it just has witches and monsters in it. But like the people did an amazing job recreating all the armor and everything. Forget the name of that I made, that was pretty good. But like all the way the people fight in the armor is like spot on. Top movies of all time? I don't fucking know. That list changes every damn day, but it's like secondhand lions, swordfish, um, ah, I don't know. I have so many movies that I just love. Like Emperor's New Groove, I've seen like more times than anything in the world. Probably because of one of my high school girlfriends. Um, can't even like think of all the movies I love off the top of my head. Uh, the Rundown, for whatever reason. It's one of those rare movies I can watch like infinite times. What am I even doing here? Locate the truck. I'm just like sitting here murdering and clearing everything. So many, so many good movies out there. I've always had a hard time doing like top this or top that. Cause it's always like, I've heard good things about Berserk. Have not watched. I think I've watched maybe one or two episodes of it, but haven't watched a ton of it yet. I. This is the only game I fat finger that key in. Like, I know how to hit I for inventory in every other game in all of existence, but not this one. OMG, no thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know. I think it was just like the time it came out. I don't know why I like Swordfish so much. Something about it like resonated with me, and I don't know why at the time. Cause like I've watched it since then, and I'm like, ah, it's not a bad movie, but it's not like, not like the greatest. This is where my mission objective is, right? Or did I do my mission objective and it moved? I blind everyone. It says there's a truck here. There's a buggy. Or am I just being an idiot and I'm here for intel? Yep, confidential document, which means this one intel that I didn't get because I was too lazy and don't super care about intel. Just not here. Really odd that like my mind is completely blanking on other movies I really, really, really like. I know there's a few. But, like I said, my brain is dying and shutting off slowly. I really am... Not, not doing so well in the memory department in my life. Kind of concerned, kind of worried about it, but I don't really know what I can do about it. I do sort cards and all those other things to try and slow it down and help it, and it does sometimes. Ooh, apparently, I don't have any any bivouacs out there, so we're gonna go up here and steal this helicopter, Rambo. I mean, I've seen the old ones. Wouldn't say they're some of my favorites. The newer movies that with all the action stars, those are pretty fun. 
not going to say they're like specifically good, but like having all those old classic 90s movie stars and action movie stars together, the swooping ass were pretty damn good, and I can't remember the name of those. Were you a fan of Far Cry and AC? I'm assuming AC you mean Assassin's Creed. Um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, by far, great game, loved it. Still think it's one of the best Assassin's Creed games that ever was. I've played most of the Assassin's Creed games. Do like the whole alien reference of it, but like, eh. It's the last few I haven't been able to beat or get all the way through since Black Flag. But I also have a thing for pirates. I love pirates. Um, so I might be a little biased on that one. I don't think I meant like grandma. I'm trying to remember what the heck were the name of the movies where they had like all of the action stars in them. It wasn't a Rambo movie. The Expendables? That's what I'm thinking about. Those movies were fun to watch. Brain works on sometimes if I just keep 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 going at it. Um Far Cry games, I've played them. They're okay. They're not terrible. They're one of those games where, like, if you have friends playing them, like, they can be entertaining, but it's just a lot of, eh. I already asked if I played Skyrim. Skyrim is yes. I'm pretty sure it was you. I have played Skyrim. Again, fantasy games I can't get into. I've never played all the way through Skyrim. Actually, I think I've beaten the dragon dude once. I don't know. But I didn't, I'm not so much like the huge infinite open world guy. What, what the heck? Did I just blatantly miss them guys, or did my bullets hit invisible walls? Because I'm pretty damn sure my mouse was over them when I pulled the trigger. Not those last two shots, but those first shots. Yeah, there's an invisible wall there. Good job with your tight hit to collection there on your, your towers, my friends. Lazy devs. I'll slide down here and whoop your ass, buddy. MHW Monster Hunter World, I think is what we're gonna go with that one. Yes, I have played Monster Hunter World No, I haven't gotten that far into it. Yes, I've revisited it twice trying to get farther through it Still just I don't know something about it. I also haven't had any friends that play it or anything So I've just been like soloing in it and it gets kind of like ant to me Love the Dark Soul games though, so I guess those would be one of the exceptions for fantasy games. I have put a lot, a lot of hours into Dark Souls. Especially two. Not two, three. Dark Souls 3 was really, really good. Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead was really fun. I enjoyed that. It's when I actually had friends that gamed. Why am I engaging this thing out in the open? A really stupid move. But it's what I'm choosing to do. Like, I'm at my objective. And I'm choosing to engage this thing instead of do my objective. Luckily, this thing feels like being in dirt mode. I've got the whole... Dead Island. Oh... Uh, dead Island, Dead Island, Dead Island. I'm trying to remember. It's another zombie game, I believe, right? What was this? Google Dead Island. It rings a bell. Yes, those were fun. Played that with Ron. Great. Same with the... Uh, what the heck's the other zombie game where you can, like, combine, like, all the crazy weapons, like, nerf bats with, like, chainsaws and flamethrowers. Those games were fun, too. Um, destroy the target truck. We have to destroy. Oh, it's a grenade. Toss that over there. Dead Island also did a, um, a MOBA-ish kind of game, which I actually kind of enjoyed playing, <laughs> but they closed that thing on. Dying Light, haven't gotten all the way through it. Game kind of freaks me the fuck out. Play that game all, all day during the daytime, but those fucking fast zombies come out at night. Fuck that shit. <laughs> oh, man. I hate fast zombies. Fucking sketch the crap out of me. Um... Good zombie game though, not gonna lie. Um, I did play quite a bit of it. I just never got all the way through it. Let's say I got near the end of it. Am I supposed to kill that guy? Neutralize the Sentinel Patrol, yeah. I just was gonna randomly shoot these guys because I felt like killing something. 
Not because it was an actual mission objective, but like I'll take the free 15 points. I'd say Dying Light is probably one of the the best zombie games you could possibly play. If like you're a super zombie person, no thank you, minigun. No thanks. I'm not here for that party. Up goat. Never played the Dead Space games. But to be honest, like horror genres and stuff, not my jam. I've never really been. Same with movies, horror movies. I nah, just, I don't. Not so much that I'm scared. I just, I guess a little bit. Like a lot of them, they just like, they're not entertaining to me. It's like, just shoot the thing. But it's like, whatever. I never get into any of them or super enjoy any of them. No, I don't want to get on that. I just want the intel, but now there's... I really don't like this hammer. What gun do I have? And why did I... Why did I equip this everyone and not change out to extended mag? Changed everything, but I didn't put the right scope on it. Interesting. Okay. Whatever. Who the heck knows? Investigate. Hold the... Or we'll learn we're an AK-74. It's just because I don't actually care. I've got to be reaching near my day cap. No, not even close. 100 plus still. Okay. Freaking awesome. A new knife skin. Like I really, really care. I just want my ghillie suit stuff, which is like six weeks from now. Hack the computer, hack the computer. We're really no more other hundreds. It's all fifties. So we'll do another locate the truck. It used to be fairly fast ones. If I were this mission, I would be all the way down here, not near any bivouac, and right in the center of probably the biggest city on the map. I've never been in the city. I was very curious of this city in this area. When I saw it flying over once, it's going to be a thing. Feeling there's going to be a lot, a lot of enemies here. A weird feeling I get about this place. I think we're going to do this one on foot just to enjoy the city. It's 2k walk, but I'm okay with that. I'm in no rush to do anything here. You like GTA 5? I love GTA 5, except for the fact that in like 1990s and 2000s on my gateway 2000 you could explore the city you could drive around and have fun with your friends well matchmaking in midtown madness monster truck madness and um need for speed hot pursuit i believe and then in gta 5 you had to sit in a fucking lobby away from people absolutely fucking killer the amount of loading screens in that game was just atrocious that game suffered from a huge case of uh Consoleitis is what we're going to call that one here. I apologize if you guys are console fans. I'm calling it Consoleitis. Great game otherwise. I've put so many hours into all the Grand Theft Autos. Uh, even like the 2D ones back in the day. I've always loved them. Super looking forward to 6. Hopefully they learned some of their mistakes and fixed them. And uh, it'll be the only game that's going to absolutely force me to get a VR if gta 6 launches with um vr native support right that i launch that'll be i'll have to play that whole game in vr it's kind of waiting for the vr a few more generations to get a little bit better to help with the field of view and the uh, screen door effect but I don't know if it's been officially announced, but like there's been all the leaks and there's been um, like job postings of people looking for it, and there's people who have listed it on their resumes as previous work experience and stuff. So like, I think it's in the works. I don't. So for being such a hardcore gamer, I really gaming news and everything. I don't super follow. And it's because like as a young adult, I would get so worked up over new games and everything where like I wouldn't be able to sleep and. It was really bad. And then I would like ruin all the launches because I wouldn't like sleep for two days beforehand because I was too excited. And at some point I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. We're done. And I stopped. 
And at this point where I have like 60,000 to 50,000 hours plus in gaming since I turned 18, like I can watch like a single trailer and understand 90% of what the game is going to be like and the way it'll play, the way it'll feel just by looking at it because I have so many hours and experience in video games. Like that's what I do. I'm like, I'm going to like this game. I know what it's going to be like. And then I'll like check up on it before it launches and stuff like that. But like I don't. I have friends who just like watch every trailer, they analyze everything, and like I like figuring the game out and experiencing it on launch. Like I, I got it. It's what I do. I have been tempted and I kind of want to start a series on this channel or one of my channels where like I go over game trailers, like their launch trailers, just kind of do slight breakdowns of my opinions and thoughts on it. What's up, Solid Thunder? Uh, yeah, thank you for that. I remember correctly from your icon, you commented something like that too, and I think I responded to you about uh, enjoying your visit here. That you like my straight to the point and not trying to stretch it out to 20 minutes long. Nice little fountain they got there. 10 out of 10 would take one of those in my backyard. I wait, I'd have to own a house and have a backyard for that one. My bad. I'd take one of those for my basement. See you, buddy. Oh, I missed. I whiffed. You're fine. You're good, though. Sometimes you're the biggest badass ever, and you don't, and you still whiff it. Where can I find a link to your other channels? Well, the only other channel would be Dig Figs Gaming, that I'm gonna tell you all about. Because technically, there's a whole bunch of channels I don't upload to. There's just Dig Fig, Dig Fig Gaming, Dig Fig Music, Dig Fig Cooking, Dig Fig Stuff and Things, Dig Fig Hot Topics, Dig Fig. I've just basically coined all the Dig Figs just to take them. But the only two that get uploaded to you are Dig Figs Gaming, which is just Let's Play. And the only Let's Play series going on on that channel right now is. Um, I'm being spotted by things. I knew the city was going to be hot as hell. Is my Borderlands 3 Let's Play series on most. Should I put links in my descriptions and everything? Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. People want embarrassing videos where I was gonna do like a improv comedy channel. The just flat dig fig one I think has one trailer up and maybe one video uploaded. Still tempted to do some of that stuff on this channel. Um, maybe do like a community event. I was thinking about. I mean, I guess feedback bounce off you guys, even though I don't think anyone would care here. But uh, I was thinking about doing some of my very first improv nonsense. I've never done improv before. Um, on behind my green screen here with my green screen showing. And then uh, doing like a giveaway or a challenge for the community to make memes, edit uh, videos, and do whatever they wanted with me improving in front of a green screen. And then the winner, after like a week or two, gets um, some sort of something. I don't know. Kind of broke don't have that much to give away but i think it would be something fun to do with the community and uh have some laughs and make a fool of myself I've seen some other youtubers that do like uh fan creations of themselves and shit and they make videos of it It'd be kind of funny to do i've always thought A whole bunch of lootable stuff here, apparently just like in their super manicured, um, like probably maintained by drones and mowed by drones. They just have a whole bunch of pumpkins droning here or growing here and that no one seems to care about all these pumpkins growing. Kind of odd. Sometimes you just got to wash yourself off. A little bit wet. My ghillie suit has been like permanently, I want to say, bugged to where. Oh crap. Not paying attention. Hmm. I don't really miss, buddy. Kind of just. You guys didn't fucked up. You just pretend you didn't see me and I would pretend I didn't see you. Fine. Now they're all dead. Everybody's dead. What text have I missed from my fiance? Heading to the bus. Hey, people are live streaming um, Star Citizen again. I wonder if there was a big update or release for Star Citizen. I guess it helps if I actually do this stuff. Let's see what she responded to as. Is that a drone I hear? 
Am I going to be hunted in the absolute middle of the city? I don't think so. Prone camo. Can't see me now, drone. I don't have a heat signature because I covered myself with mud or dirt or grass. I don't even know what the heck I prone camoed myself into in this situation, but I don't feel like dealing with hunters in the middle of a city surrounded by enemies. I think it's a bad idea. Bad call would be to get engaged here by the wolves. Screw you, drone. Oh, you're still detecting me. What? Since when did you guys put cameras on the back of your drones? Have you played Call of Duty Mobile? No, I do not. Have not. In my brain, I was going to say, no, I don't really play mobile games. So I started that sentence and they changed it to answer your exact question. So the answer is no, I do not. I have not played that game. That got awkward. Hopefully I answered the question. It's like a good shift swim. There's no need to slow, slow move here. My phone activities involve anime, going over my analytics, responding to comments to the YouTube channel, and or reading news articles on my Google Pixel feed. As news feeds are awesome, but terrible. Hear a drone. See a drone. I feel like I'm starting to run low on rocket launchers and all this fancy equipment to easily deal with the drone. I don't really want to engage this drone. I guess I can loot this loot box. Hopefully he doesn't see me as I do it. Don't mind me, drone, just borrowing some scale credits. A terrible name for currency. Like a evil organization and just name it directly after yourself. Skill credits. Can we stealth take out this guy before he sees me? Really, game? That's what I get for relying in third person. Third person. Totally should have first person that and made all my shots. And everything would be fine. Why be playing Cyberpunk? Holy fucking shit, S. Fucking shotgunner. Ow. Did you guys see that stagger the shotguns do in this game? Absolutely insane. Okay, now I will answer your question. Will I be playing Cyberpunk? Yes, I will be playing Cyberpunk. I love steampunk. I love sci-fi. I love futuristic games. Um, haven't looked super crazily into it to know if it's something I'm absolutely going to love or not, but like I'll give the game a shot. Now I'll look into it a little bit more. When, I want to say when it gets closer, but I'm pretty sure it's not that far away in launch state. I'm scared of this drone. I'm probably scared of much else. We're going stupid just because that was a yellow drop. Oh, probably not worth it either. We're gonna just push, push all the way across here, like way across. And drag out some of these guys that have been following me. Flip around. Still coming? No, not coming anymore. Make some progress towards our objective here. Yeah, I see a drone. A douche. I'm a douche. We all douches. We all got guns. We all know how to kill things. What could go wrong? Don't mind the guy just swimming in this man-made, like, water lake thingy here. Do you play Destiny? No, I currently do not play Destiny. If I played Destiny, there would be videos on Destiny. Currently make videos of whatever game I'm playing. Have I played Destiny? Yes. Have I played Destiny 2? Yes. No, I haven't played Destiny 1, because I don't really play console games. I did play Destiny 2. I still do occasionally go back to it and try and get into it. But it's another one of those games where like going back is not so much overwhelming, but there's just a lot to relearn um, when you start at a max level character. And also I don't have any friends that play it, so it's one of those games where I just go back into it by myself, which really isn't my jam. Hate relying on pugs and everything. Games like this where I can just do it solo, I'm getting better at and learning to like. I've always been more of a co-op player. Holy crap. Well, we took one step too far. 
shrug it off. Just Iron Man landed that shit like a boss. But we're down here with this crate. It's really, 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 really dangerous. Um, like, I'm okay with the dangerousness because, like, uh, I mean, evolution and, like, they're that stupid to just walk off a cliff and die. I mean, a little bit harsh, but like, eh, possibly better for the gene pool. I don't know. There's benefits to both. But like, I mean, that's not safe for a utopian world. Just having the ledge that goes like a whole story drop straight down. Nah, don't Hello. feel like they would do that. No need to fear. I'm looking for some info about something. Can you help me? Now, here's what I know. Well, thanks, buddy. Good that we can all talk with telepathy. Oh, key bindings in this game are just wonky. Really, really wonky. Sometimes it's B to stop, which I think is when you're interrogating an enemy, it's B to cancel it. All that dinner talk, and I think she's just gonna have canned soup. Okay. Or intel, or are you just the same guy who wants the same thing? And I'm an idiot because I'm not paying attention. Obviously, there's a side quest here where I have to talk to some people and stairs. Stairs are right here. I want to go that direction, so we'll take these stairs. That makes logical sense, right? Hey everyone, this is my art project. I cut a hole in a rock. Sold it for like $60,000. Some people, man. All luck. Another... I will turn back for these because there are like cases and evidence in this game that unlock fancy stuff. I should come back here and get this collectible. Look, I don't want any trouble. New clue. World 2.0 is a pipe dream. Yeah, it normally is. Not the way everything works. Why I'm just running past that loot box, I don't know. We'll never know. But I'm sure I'll be back here during the story campaign at some point. We got Chopper. A box up on the roof. That usually means there's enemies in the general vicinity. Did it move my objective? Yeah. Oh, I'm out of the city with the objective. Okay. We can actually climb up on this roof, I think, and get the chopper. GTFO. I have heard about that and I've watched the clip where they talk about it and I've read about their response because I am absolutely loving this freaking blizzard. I think it is absolutely hilarious and I hope the drama lasts through BlizzCon. I want to see all the crap that could pop like sir so many possible memes and hilarious moments that could happen at BlizzCon is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I am not super big on drama but i think this is hilarious especially from activision like lulls they are so screwed um i don't really know how they're gonna get themselves out of this hole like they kind of screwed the pooch they gotta pick sides now and i don't think they have a choice on which side they're allowed to pick anymore but just like all the other stuff like that in the world it could just blow over super easy and if they hold off people will forget about it and won't stop anything I look forward to watching people dressed up, and I look forward to people um, uh, doing the Q&A open mics and stuff. How the hell are they going to get away with this one? Especially because, like, most of BlizzCon is usually live streamed. Like, what? Like, literally, what are they going to do? Well, that's a helicopter, an Amon drone, and some shit, and all I got is an open field. This, this is about to be a really bad situation. Okay. Make these shots count versus this helicopter. Come on, I got double hits on that guy, really? There's that kill. He's actually gonna come and land that thing. That's the AI's first move, is they wanna get out and kill you personally, the pilots, instead of driving away. Every reason that did not trigger this spawn, so I guess I cannot argue about that. We'll swap to rock launcher and I will start this fight, I guess. Uh, I guess it's a destroy the drone transport, so I can just just take this, and even if I fail the object or fail, even if I die, at least the objective is completed. 
Oh, nice. The Mon drone took a lot of damage from that explosion, too. And it went down. So that works out. All things... All things work out in the end. I was gonna say all things are correct, but that just made no sense whatsoever to what was going on. So, my brain decided to come up with some stupid shit in its head. That's an upgrade. That's technically an upgrade. 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 Gotta love gear score games, everybody. Sweet. I was not doing my dailies for the first like five days that this game was out. I feel terrible about it. I did want to get syringe capacity plus one, I believe. I think that's usually a safe call. Water canteen capacity is kind of fucking pointless. I really do like the climb speed. No, I didn't want that. That's equipable. And that was just the wrong one. I want, like, why did it teleport me all the way up there? Well, either I just completely ruined this character or hopefully you can respec. That's, those are kind of the two choices there are there. The Lone Wolf Gamer, how's it going? I'm assuming you enjoy this video game based on your icon here. I'm a solo player too. What the heck are those guys on? Are those side mission guys? Are they enemy side mission guys? What the heck? Glad there's at least one other person in the world who's enjoying this game way more than all the bad press has given it. I think Warlands 3 and Regular Mayhem 3 and True Hell running the same, or is True Hunter give you better drops? I mean, better is a whole, better chance for drops. More drops. I wouldn't say better. Next thing would be... Back to computer, I think, is basically what I have left here. 23 away. <laughs> We're not flying there. Where the heck did I just point this thing? Follow this 23. Ooh, that's about as far away as you could possibly get. Oh, and I hit the wrong key. This is what happens when you play two games once, everyone. Because E is the fast travel in uh, Borderlands 3, and F is the fast travel in this. It's kind of ironic, Lone Wolf, that you are a solo player. Your name is Lone Wolf, and you like this game, obviously, because your YouTube icon is this game. Or at least is the ghost logo thingy, my Bobby. So... This is up in that mountain base, which is damn near impossible to get to without a helicopter. We are going to spawn a helicopter, I believe. Blowing bivouac. I start fires by kicking them. I do it. Rush. Any major upgrades here? No, 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 no. Break camp. Um, we can do like a midnight raid. Why not? Where did you put my chopper? Up and over this little hill? I can do that little climb. As long as it saves me this giant mountain climb. I am playing as the medic for solo. How about you? field medic or whatever if you want to get technical about it I would not be surprised I don't really know what options they have did you see that even on the Hearthstone US tournament someone held up the free Hong Kong thing and now there's no more team cameras allowed <laughs> it's fucking hilarious doing this base is a bitch Remember correctly, there should be like a little place to land over here that's slightly out of the way. Are you enjoying the panther? They're the ones with the smoke bomb, right? Or 
I have my classes mixed up. Panther is cloaking spray. I got you. I'm just going to assume you are a stealth player if you went panther. So as you can tell that none of my guns except for my pistol currently have a silencer on them. Um, I may or may not not do stealth that often. We usually just start loud just like this on extreme difficulty. Play out the gunfights and see how it goes. Push up this rock formation to this little lip right here. Anyone else? Whoa, whoa. What? Not good. They're not. No, don't detect me from above me like that. That'd be terrible. I can my ass. Your flashlight is video games and lighting mechanics still will need some work a lot of the time. So there's something under my mouse at the same time. Here we go. Creep up on that guy? Can I creep? I don't know. He's a shotgunner. I am not creeping up on that guy. I creep up on him. He's gonna AI hack me through the grass. And like stumble me all the way down this hill and kill me. But I am not just gonna sit here and wait for them to get to me, so I will push. No, there's snipers and a whole bunch of assholes positions on this uh, map. I think there's one on one of those platforms of a sniper, and last time there was a sniper up there. Do you really have eyes on me? Blind shoot that, because, you know, hacks UI stuff. I need to not engage out in the open like this. Oh, what am I doing? Decisions were made, and I don't know exactly what the hell I thought was going to happen. Maybe I could make it up to that thing for cover and not get sniped and die. But, like, that was just a really, really dumbass call, because I know there's, like, three snipers that have line of sight on me there. We're going to go back down the hill and try and try and play this a little bit smarter who the heck fuck shot me oh i got shot question is from where very very nice yeah stealth has, has never been my strong suit in any game ever oh. I'll take on like 400 dudes in a warehouse with some boxes and an SMG. That I can do all day, every day. Not if they're the shotgunners in this game, though, because that whole stagger effect they have when they hit you is freaking nuts. But, hello. That, that's not something you want. Okay, I'm very much pinned down here. Change locations. Screw you, turret. We're just gonna stay hugging this wall here. Like I remember the old Splinter Cell games back in the day. It was like really cool. You could shoot out the light bulbs and the room would go like pitch black and shit. But then I would still just promptly murder everyone. And then uh, same with like uh, what are they called? Hitman games. You know what I always kept in my duffel bag? It'd be an assault rifle with a drum magazine. That's what I would keep in my duffel bag. Pretty sure that's what it was called, right? Where you could have one item drop in the mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a target. I need this giant turret of doom dead. No, we're just <laughs> going up there. Got it. Just gonna stay down here a little bit longer. Don't shoot at me. Shoot at Hello. Oh wow. When a, when you won't don't want your accuracy to be terrible, and it just it goes really really bad. Got the headshots. Hmm, that was, that was almost really bad, and there would have been no one to blame but me, because you can two-shot those guys, but wow. Wow, apparently my panic shooting was way off on that case. Stay just really, really close. I'm good. Might get pinged by a sniper coming out here. Hear 
are the footsteps in the walking? What the... Oh, I was like, what kind of drone is detecting me? But it's that turd again. Yeah, I smoked Wes. He didn't do that much for me, and he didn't taste that good while he was getting smoked either. More on this sign, maybe? Oh. Hearing bad things about this, but it looks good. Do you enjoy it? I absolutely love this game. A lot of the bugs people have reported, I didn't see an open beta or closed beta, and I really feel like I'm playing a different game than them, and it really confuses me. It could be that I'm playing on elite difficulty, and like, their detection and stuff is fucked up on the lower difficulties, or not elite, extreme difficulty is what I'm playing on. Um, I don't know. If you like open world Ubisoft games, and like, if you liked Wildlands, then you'll probably like the gameplay in this game. If you like looter shooters and farming loot, you'll probably like this game. And then if you like like the battle pass stuff and doing dailies like MMOs have, you'll probably like this game. If you don't like all that stuff combined, this game can feel kind of mishmashy. But like, I really enjoy the game. I really do. And it's the first time I've ever been so confused because like, there's a lot of reviewers I really like, really trust. Um, I've had good opinions with them and like shared a lot of the same thoughts on a lot of games and then this game they're all just shitting on and i'm just really really confused like it just feels like i'm playing a different game and i don't understand what's going on i like the forums and stuff there's people who are like i didn't plan on buying this game and it's supposed to be shit but i have 50 plus hours into it and i'm really enjoying it it's like yeah um a lot of the complaints I've seen in this game are people that don't really understand what's going on. They're like, oh, someone just paid to win, join my game, and is rickrolling everything. And it's like, I feel like someone is joining your game, and their game is set to the easiest difficulty, and you're playing on a harder difficulty. So the enemies are scaled to them as being super easy. Because I've had people join my extreme game, and they can just face tank everything. They don't care, because they're just playing on super easy difficulty. It's not their gear, because the gear doesn't do that kind of shit in this game. But there's also a lot of people that don't like this whole gun game here where like literally every base I'm swapping weapons just to have the highest gear score. Which you don't have to do. I'm just like that min-maxing fool who always wants to hit top gear score, so that's how I play. We're actually up here to hack a computer, right? A thing. Where did my objective go? Or did I get different intel which is taking me somewhere else? Apparently I don't have a pinned objective anymore. I failed this mission, everyone! What did I do? I screwed something up. No, well, apparently I did do it. Whatever. I can complete objectives and not even know I'm doing it. Did you play World of Warcraft? That was a few minutes ago. Sorry. Um, yes, I did play World of Warcraft when it first came out. And then I played it... Molten? I don't know. I did molt. I played it a while ago with the raiding guild. Some of my friends wanted to do it, so we raided in it. Then... Latest Battle of Azeroth. A few friends wanted to do arenas and push hard into arenas, so I spent like fucking uh, 500 hours grinding my character and gearing it to be very, very good for arenas, and then they all kind of like backed out. But like, no, I don't super ever get into... Uh... Yes, that is actually my intention of this game, is to do weapon reviews of all of them. And I'm just trying to figure out a gear score level where I should do it at. When theoretically I could do it whenever, because a level 1 weapon and a level 100 weapon kind of do the exact same damage. So, no reason not to just start doing them, to be honest. And I plan to be a little more technical about them, I think. Um, I kind of want to do some of the numbers of, like, uh, how many rounds of chests of certain enemies to kill per different guns and stuff like that. Since the numbers are a lot more static in this game than they are in Borderlands 3. I do plan on doing all the gun reviews in this game. Just at some point I need to start it, you know? From their handling accuracy, 
I might be able to just do even like the spread and everything, like some of the old time division builds where people would just there and shoot a wall and show the spread versus the different guns and stuff. I did pin this, right? Yeah, okay. I'm not making it up. It means I just need to look on my map of where the heck I'm actually going here. All the way down here. Do I have any fobs nearby? Call them fobs. Too much armor. Armor in my days. They're a bit of a wax. Here. Just texting my fiance here about dinner. Deploy bivouac. Should I deploy bivouac? Good luck. Enjoy your content, especially your awkward outros. Thank you, man. I try and make them fun, interesting, and like. I would like to start doing some improv and all that other stuff. And like I said, I was talking about earlier maybe doing a, a community event where I'll do some improv nonsense in front of a green screen and then do like competition for people that like to edit photos or memes or GIFs or videos and uh, maybe give the rewards, maybe give the winner of something like that and do some a video going over all the ones people made. It would be pretty funny and entertaining. We'll see. Like once a month or something fun for the community. And I like making an ass on myself. It's a good time. Laughing and stuff. I would like to spawn a helicopter. To do so, we have to go into this screen for mm, no real reason. You can you can skip cutscenes though in this game. So plus one over Borderlands 3. Yeah. Let you know what to say. If you can make someone laugh, you got their their heart and all their stuff right. I, mean, I should do them at the intro then, if your point is to make people laugh. But yeah, a few people stick around for the end. It's funny. game like it's pretty sometimes but then it's also not pretty at the same time it's weird like oh that that long ass lock means incoming missile okay so we're gonna count this one out here because right now i understand that my flight trajectory and stuff should mean i get absolutely fucking nailed by this missile pretty sure i made it miss me so that's good news there's no good audio cues of it closing on me. We literally just guessed the speed of that missile and counted it. So. Guys are below me here. Oof. Oh, you're having a bad day, dude. It always sucks being the first one to go, right? Second one to go. You're having just as bad of a day because you apparently had no fucking clue whatsoever. We need to stop the slide, swap weapons. We didn't swap the weapons when we stopped the slide. That's the problem. Oh shit, I was expecting guys. Nope, that... Okay, so... I've played a lot of armor, like thousands and thousands of armor in my days. I haven't played it in a long time, but my default is still to hit X to go prone. And in this game, it spawns a drone. Okay, turret. That was a grenade on myself. So we're gonna commit suicide and and get killed by shotgun. That's what we're gonna do. So I decided to play super aggressive. In my mind, I would swap weapons, slide down the hill, land in the middle of them all, and murder them like a badass John Wick style. <laughs> Reality didn't quite work out that way. So round two. Drone I hear up there should be far enough away to not be a thing. Okay, so we shouldn't rinse and repeat that one. That was not a successful attempt at this base. Your head, take your head. 
Sometimes the best laid plans, guys. And we're doing it again here. I'm pushing down here. I am pushing it out a little bit farther to see if I can get eyes on this turret. That guy just kind of walked himself out of the open. There's the turret I wanted to kill. Oh, hey, just add another threat to this. Take out the minigunner, because he's the big threat. You off. What's up, Justin? How you doing? Why did I just hear a drone? A drone here? Why do I hear a drone? Is there a drone here? They're scary. Yeah, with how much I liked Wildlands, I really wasn't back and forth at all. I, again, I've been talking about this all day because people keep coming in and asking. Like, I feel crazy because I see all the reviews from people I trust and I enjoy the reviews and I love their channels and they're all just shitting on this game like there's no tomorrow and talking about all this stuff. And like, I haven't seen any of the stuff. And then some of the stuff they're talking about is just wrong. Like, they don't understand how the... Um, gear system works they don't seem to understand that people can join your game with lower difficulty settings so it looks like it's their gear being op but they're just playing on easy mode i don't know but then there's people that complain about the different mechanics in the game and how they don't really fit into the ghost recon genre and that's true but i like all the mechanics like the battle pass i like dailies i like uh, gear score grinding so like to me those are all good additions but i can see why they're bad additions to some people a lot of people say the AI isn't super responsive, and I occasionally have that issue, but on elite or on extreme difficulty, the AI seems to be hyper alert, so maybe I'm just bypassing that issue. I don't know. Found you from your gun reviews, but I really want to thank you for your tenacity and persistence in those reviews. I appreciate your work here. Thank you very much. I am... There's probably like another week or two, three weeks, maybe. I don't even know how many more guns there are. I know I need to farm for some very specific guns that I'm missing, but like, for the most part, I have a good chunk of them. I have a whole bunch of artifacts left, some class mods, and a bunch of grenades. I think the next few days are going to be a lot of grenade videos. My spreadsheet's pretty filled out with uh, green. And green means I've done a video on it. Yellow means video in progress. White means not even started. This should be a defense mission. But a lot of the other bugs seem to be desync issues, which Ubisoft has always had in their open world uh, co-op games. Nothing new about that. I don't know. I really enjoy the game. I really like the game, and I recommend it to my friends because I'm enjoying it so much. But like, I truly do feel like I'm losing my mind because everyone is shitting on this game so much, and I'm enjoying it. Holy shit, that's a lot of dudes to roll up all at once. Fine though, I'm a ghost. Ooh, double kill. Don't know how that was a double kill. Those guys were not lined up. Yes. I really wanted to climb this ladder when those guys originally showed up. I did see those comments and I might actually do that because that's a really good idea and it does give me more content, which is also a good thing, okay. We're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. But I do am I am playing a medic, so I have a self-revive. Which I can't do all the time, but I can do occasionally. Well, I'm probably fucking dead the second I stand up here, and the mission has definitely failed. Yeah, okay. So I am playing a four-person co-op babe by myself, so this does happen. Yeah, I, it's honestly the first game I've ever reached out to friends and been like, have you had time to play this game enough? And a lot of them are too busy with real life things to actually have gotten to put enough time in it where it's like fucking it's. Yeah, I, I am. I'm truly honestly confused about some of the gameplay and commentary and reviews I've seen versus me physically playing the game. I'm just baffled and I've had friends reach out to me. And they're like, what about this game? What do you think of it? I'm not buying it because all this stuff. And like I explained to them where I think 
A lot of the reviewers don't understand the mechanics. Like, people rage that it spawns enemies in your face. But, like, I've spent 50 hours in the closed betas walking around not using any vehicle in the woods. And there's just a lot of NPCs in the woods. There's tons and tons of small camps everywhere. So when you pull aggro, it seems like the enemies are coming from everywhere and spawning around you. Especially if you drive a vehicle around because they're so loud in this game. But there actually are just that many enemies out in the world already. It's not that they're spawning on you. Now this is a defend the objective mission, so yes, these buggies and stuff are blatantly spawning. So like, I can't be mad at that. Then like I said, there's all the people who are like, people just paid to win and they joined my game and steamrolled everything. And it's like, no, they joined your game on easy mode and they're playing easy, you're playing extreme and it looks like they're steamrolling. Does your level one gun and gear do the exact same damage as a level like 500 gun? There's no no damage difference or anything. They might have some better passive bonuses, but it doesn't do more damage. We've got a man down here. I did blow up the turret, so technically I could... You know, I wondered what that guy's icon did, and apparently he summons drones. So I'm trying to shoot him in his freaking arm, but I hear... Shotgunner! Get away from me, you freaking ridiculous OP bear. I did think it was a Valon effort. Then there's all the people that really don't like the drones, and I'm like, I love the drones. They're like, it's unrealistic and it's bullshit. And I'm like, ah, go forward a few years and this ain't that fucking unrealistic, my friends. You just want like 2000s and 1990s realistic, not modern day realistic is what you want and like you don't really want realistic either because realistically i would just get hit with a fucking missile from a goddamn drone and never see it coming and i would be gg over and over again every time i poke my head out it's fine i'm gonna talk about you realistic little military fanboys that want something like that So like the little handheld drones, these pistol drones and stuff are not that far off. A lot of them do keep the recon drones and stuff on their person. So we're going to try this from here, maybe. Kind of coverish. I've never had one of these that does two buggies at once. I've always had a single buggy. And I've been able to stay on top of the spawns and kill them. Oh, is that guy killing my fucking objective in there? Dick boy. This is probably the dumbest thing I could do, but we're gonna try something different here. Oh, hurry up and get in it. Like I said, this is probably one of the dumber things we could do, but I wanted to try it. Because the miniguns are super inaccurate after you fire for a short period of time, and it gets really, really hard to hit your targets. Okay, we're getting out of that. It worked once. I don't know how. I'm fucking alive. And before they come, I need to inject myself with this. Ideally, I would have prepped the battlefield and put freaking landmines down. That would have been a great way to blow up their vehicles as they came in. Holy shit, this is so painful. Get the heck away from my objective. What's doing on me? Are you coming through my door? Yeah, you're coming through my door. Get away from my door. Pyatt, Pyatt, Pyatt. I hear fucking walking behind me and I got stuck on the damn door frame. Son of a bitch. Mission failed, because I'm dead, they killed the damn objective. Heard me wants to let them kill me, just so I can restart the mission easier. I'll prep the battlefield this time before I hack the damn computer. Kill me! Thank you, appreciate it. So probably be the hardest defense one I've done so far. When it's one vehicle, it's easy, you can just... Kill the gunner, then pick them all out as they drive up. But this is a double spawn with double miniguns. It's 
Also, I love this gun, but versus enemies with decent body armor like this, it's not the greatest gun. This should be the 416. Actually, one of my favorite guns in the game so far. I prefer Vector. I love my Vectors. Vectors just can put enough lead down range to wipe the floor with just about anything. What's up, drone guy? You're dead. You're dead. Dead. Three gun turret. Could also just hack that. I wonder if I could use that. Oof. I wonder what conversation they had. Oh, we're going on patrol. Do you want to get in the minigun or do you want us to sit in the passenger seat? No, nah, I think we'll take the passenger seat this time. It's more comfortable. We never need that minigun. Then this is the time. They really could have used the guy in that minigun on patrol. Third radio guy. So I'm assuming there's one guy. Boom, I yep. I, my brain put him on the back side of that thing. Not right there. Either way. He got the drop. I won. And it's a freaking LMG. And you know what? I'm not a big LMG user in this game. But I feel like the kind of mission we're doing, this might be the best circumstance you could possibly ask. Have him freaking LMG in, right? Seems to make fun, or make not make fun, makes sense to me that a min that an LMG would be really good at hosing down these cars as they come in. But we'll give it a shot. I did say I would prep the battlefield, so I will. I do have, should have, we should have some of these. They seem to come in down this side. That was a medic kit. This is an AT mine. Hopefully I'm not putting this last one too far away, because I know they spawn relatively close. Yeah, our mines come with friend or foe, so I feel totally safe walking here. I guess I might as well use this thing, seeing as I threw it down by accident. Give me an extra HP bar for this mission. Question is, where do I want to sit? This thing. If I sit all the way back here, I have no cover if they drive past me. If they all stop in front of me, I'm golden. But if they drive past me, I'm dead. Probably a really, really bad place to sit what I'm doing. No matter what, we're going to survive longer than we did last time because those mines will kill the first two spawns. 100 rounds. The 185 is reserved so I can reload. One full reload, really. I have to remember that. I don't know why I'm going to add the laying down aspect to this. It's just going to get me screwed in the long run. I mean... Oh, they dodged the landmines on one of them. Okay. And that inaccuracy is why I do not normally use LMGs. I hate it. It's working for whatever reason right now. Come on, next vehicle. Doing it. Wow, they spawned way farther out there than I would have thought. So that was all the landmine, not my LMG. This thing is really, really, really inaccurate. Holy crap. This guy's walking in? The answer is yes, they are. Apparently I shot out their tires or something with my LMG as they were approaching. I really want to play this game. I'll swap sides on you. No? Well, 
when you prep the battlefield, it's a lot easier. I think we're having so many issues with this one. So we will be changing automatic marking. Did this get any other benefits to it? No. Let's leave it on. Fuck it. Leave it on. I'll keep an LMG as a backup. Why not? Just for now until we get a better sniper rifle. That was the wrong magazine. Did get a pistol. Don't think it was upgrade. Was not. Still no proper way to deal with your inventory though. Because like doing this. It's really old. Really fast. Unless someone here knows of a way to do a delete all or mark something as junk and there's no actual hotkey cues for it. This is one of the things I was super clear on when they asked for our feedback in closed beta and open beta was that they need a better way to do inventory management in this game. That was going to be one of the things that could possibly kill this game because dealing with your loot is a pain in the ass. And like they have the division system where you just mark what you don't want as junk and then you deconstruct all of it where this game is just one at a time and you can only do the 300 items could you imagine having to do this for 300 items it's ridiculous you guys thought i was done Psh, silly folk you're never done dealing with inventory management in this game. Just doing this now so it really doesn't get out of hand. I could do the rest of this off stream, but you know. Take a second here to respond to my fiance. I'll save off doing the rest of that till later. 137 would not have been an upgrade. Okay, so I don't actually feel bad about deconstructing it. Done with our dailies yet? Battle pass rewards. 400 out of 400. Yes, we are. Okay. We get in our RNG style box. Cat netting camo. Okay. Fancy, fancy. Play a little bit of uh, fashion souls here. What do we get? Different helmet? Ooh, I do like the helmets that don't make me wear the... Oh no, this one doesn't either. Ha, ah, I like the slide in your earphone thing. So that was really cool on helmets. Difference between the two of these. One's rounded, the other one's not. Do you get repeat items from boxes? Um, I don't think they respawn. Question mark. I don't actually know. Give me a second here. We can. What I wanted. Give me one second to be done playing Fashion Souls. I don't I have any... So bases I know I've cleared 100% would be this one. And everything is check marked off. I'm pretty sure you do not get repeat items from boxes. So you could technically uh, argue, hold on a second. Apparently we haven't agreed on anything for dinner. What? She hasn't agreed on anything for dinner and then she just sent me a mess saying she'll pick up dinner. So now I'm curious what we're having for actual dinner. Um. What we're we gonna say here you could argue that it would be best to get your gear score really high and then open all the boxes is that what we're getting at here no one mind the normal ubisoft uh train manipulation you can just kind of do whatever the fuck you want and not worry about killing yourself as long as you have some idea of how 
Ubisoft likes to do their terrain movement. Um, you guys can tell I've played Wildlands and maybe some other games um, from the same developer. I did not wait for my stamina though. That's that's going to be a major, major, major problem right about now. I'll make it work. Oh, to get repeat on that, yes, but they're different gear score, if that makes any sense. So, like, you can have a level 1 AK or a level 5 AK-74 or a level 100 AK-74. And since you do need the gear score number to unlock raids and things like that, it is kind of useful, even though it doesn't per se do anything better. It's just the rarity that matters. And I think the higher the gear score, the better chance there is for better rarity. I don't actually notice know that. I know somewhere around like level 70 or something, I just started getting way, way, way more purples. And now I'm starting to get way, way, way more yellows. But um, it does look like these boxes have respawned. I don't know what their cooldown is because I know for a fact I have full cleared this base multiple times because you have to for the campaign. And uh, this loot box here is respawned. Wait, how strange is that? Pretty strange, buddy. Missed. Kind of, kind of ducked like a smart person. These definitely look like they've respawned. And, uh... So now the question is, was that one of the listed items here? Yes. So, when you know what's in a base, you know exactly what's going to be in all the crates, which I really, really like. So it's not necessarily RNG. So it means every time I come back to this base, I'm going to get a Scorpio. Every time I'm going to get an MK14, an M9, a Nomad Cap, and a drone. So if there's like very specific guns you want and like, you can just wait for the base to respawn or something and have the loot boxes respawn and come reloot them at your current level and you have another chance to get that item. I believe if it's gray, um, uh, this is believing here. I don't super know. I'm pretty sure the unique plunders are not repeatable. It's just the top ones here and i'm pretty sure if it's gray in the top it just means rng roll not just like it'll be the lowest tier weapon because like i said i got a purple out of that one not a blue and it's an rng roll oh we learned that together just now but yes you can reloot bases and boxes it's probably on a 24 hour cooldown if i had to guess the mobs respawn really really fast way faster than they should but the bases are probably on a 24 hour reset i don't actually want to fight this place so we're just gonna get in a chopper and fly away after swapping to a sniper rifle Doo -doo -doo. goodbye now i'm in a more alone though because i have a chopper behind me that's aggroed on me apparently we're having chick fil -A for dinner she made an executive decision and i'm okay with that one so not going to put up an argument or a fight. Is he above or below me? I were this chopper, I would be below me. I see you. I'm curious, because I'm bigger and he's smaller. Can we ram him to death and not kill ourselves? Be the question here. Or are we both going to die horrific deaths? is probably the, the more likely option to be totally honest or they're just going to shoot me to death because he actually has missile approaching well, that's an un that was unexpected no one wants a missile to hit their helicopter okay let's see can we get an accurate ram off on this guy eh, a little bit too hot but it was a ram nonetheless and in my brain space bar is up and down Missile approaching again. Where are these missiles coming from? I'm not getting tone lock or anything like that. I don't actually see any missiles coming at me. This is just pure nonsense what we're doing here. There's no need for this shenanigans. I may or may not be uh, in a mood. Oh, that was supposed to be it on him. Come on, dude. I know you want to die. We're both smoking really bad. 
Okay, <laughs> you can run over drones with a helicopter and get the loot. Walls. Such a glitchy mechanic. <laughs> oh, now I feel like I'm playing with some of my friends because this is like some shit they would do. Apparently, apparently I do it too. You're cheating. The shooting. I mind fucked that the rotors haven't broke off either of these choppers yet. Like, what the heck? Walls, I won! Get out of here. You're not welcome. Explodesies. Ha ha. I won the uh, chopper duel. So in my defense, I was going to just go belly flop it in the water, but apparently I hit a tree on the way there. We survived somehow, so why argue? I don't, know, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a super stealthy ghost right now. That is, that is how stealthily we are. Another chopper? Why are you a thing? For some reason, you give me one of these AK aimers and my just shit goes all to hell. I win. Is that a sniper scope looking at me that I just saw? I did not want to be in combat, but now I am in combat. Do you have a friend? You're never alone. Why is that guy alone? You guys can kind of see what I'm talking about when I say there's tons of little patrols all over the place just by themselves. Like, we just landed my chopper out here and there were guys just sitting in front of us. There's this spawn over here. There was a chopper flying around. The world's quite full of enemies. Why you putting up a fight, buddy? Better training and a better workout. You did. Ding 23. I'm really salty that I spent my skill point on the wrong thing earlier. Can you respec in this game? Ooh, I'll take that upgrade. How do I respec my skills? I'm just laughing at memes on my other screen because I was trying to look at a Reddit post and someone posted a hilarious meme. Well, okay. So we finished our dailies. Kind of what my whole purpose of this stream was, to be totally honest. I've been recording main story quests. But I think we have time to clear a base. A fancy base. We're somewhere we haven't really been to before. There's a fancy base out here. Let's see what this base is all about. Check on my left screen here. Okay. Kind of pick up some of these crafting mats. I did get the thing that shows these on the mini map. I think it's super useful and just helps make it so you passively don't actually have to like actively look for them. You can just really just kind of move around and take not direct straight lines just so you run over some of them and auto pick them up. It's also great, amazing feature. 
Actually, you know what? No. Yeah, we'll go clear the space. I was say we could go do a behemoth or something. Yeah. I really do wish I had a different gun. Really just not a super fan of the freaking AKs in these games. Love them in real life, great guns, but in this game, eh. How many guys do we think are going to be in this majorly massive huge base? Because those are descriptors I linked together that made no sense whatsoever, but that's what I did. I think it's going to be a lot. A whole lot of guys. This place is looking like it's set up like a fortress. All concrete barriers and everything around it. And they got gun turrets at the entrance. No better way to start a base. Are you really? I didn't notice. Um, did you actually have contacts? That guy had contact. Go to that guy. I don't think they have ways to flank me here, but they might. I mean, I know if reinforcements come, they're going to come right behind me with a minigun blaring on a car. Then I'll just die. But the AKs are really, really, really good at just non-headshots killing people. New message to download. What? And flank me. Um, hold on, guys. We got an issue here. Okay, not an actual issue, just... I don't want to be sexist here or anything, but my fiance just sent me a picture of her range left on her car at zero miles because that's how close she cut it to refueling her car before going to a gas station. Like, hmm, hmm, some, some like. Zero miles. Seems, seems a little ridiculous. Given I've run out of gas before multiple times on my motorcycle, but that's because after my motorcycle accident, the fuel warning light doesn't work anymore and it doesn't have a fuel reserve. So, like, I really just kind of wing it and guess it on my motorcycle. How many, uh, how much gas is left in the tank? And, like, two or three times I've judged wrong. Uh, it's usually right at the beginning of a year, or I haven't refueled it. Do, do, do. Saw you. I don't think they were that way. Getting that shotgun would have been really, really nice. glare of shooting through this window is really messed up. I'm now going to have a shotgunner closing in on me indoors from behind me. Which is really, really bad. Any on, ow, ow, ow. Any advice on growing a channel? Um. Uh, be honest. Make good content. And uh, it's not easy. It's just really not easy nowadays. Um, I think it used to be easier, but like a lot of reddits and places where you could successfully self-promote nowadays have all these super strict rules against self-promotion, which really kind of sucks. Um, a lot of forums don't, but like if you make good entertaining content and can promote yourself not shamelessly, like don't link your videos in other people's streams. It's a really quick way to get your shit fucked up or other YouTube channels. But there's a whole bunch of videos out there about learning how SOE works and ranking and tag rankings and all that stuff. And just do your research, uh, learn the system, and 
tag your videos properly and make sure the videos you're watching aren't like from 2015 because a lot has changed on YouTube since then. And um, I also don't know what type of channel you're trying to grow. Let's play channels are insanely hard to, to grow. Educational content and stuff like this or this channel mostly is where I just do guides and everything is way easier to grow because it's just about finding things that people haven't already found solutions to and doing them or doing something better than someone else's. Uh, don't mimic and mirror really large channels because the YouTube game 100% completely changes if you're a big channel versus a small channel. I know a lot of big channels that do things that make no sense for everything I've learned about YouTube, but they're allowed to and it works because they just have this default super huge viewer base. I've cleared this place in um, the beta also. The fucking FPS just went to shit here. You guys must be lagging like crazy. Holy crap. It almost feels like something's under my mouse. I don't know, that's just such a loaded question nowadays. It's like, there's so much competition. And my mouse will not track properly. This lag and it feels like something's underneath it. Alert! Contact! Enemy contact! Yes, I'm still here. No man, there's something wrong with asking people. That's just... I mean, it just sucks nowadays. Like, I meant on and off years just trying to make this more or less a Let's Play channel. And it's just not working. And I've been told by everyone and a bunch of people that they really like my guides and my no bullshit stuff and the way I explain stuff. And, like, even back in The Division, when I first launched, I was pulling, like, half a million views on my guide videos. But, like, I just, yeah. But I'll mix it all up together and do things. Um, making people laugh is great. Um, like, people love my outros here. Um, and they're just nonsense. And, like, it really is true. If you can make someone laugh, you kind of got them hooked. But that's just, like, basic human psychology in general. Like, I'm going to be doing this for years and years and years and years. And, like, we're here... I like 7k subs with like 5,000 oh, ghost subs. I'd say there's like five or six people that still watch me from way, way back in my original division days, or it's where I got my original 5,000 people. Um, with the Borderlands content, I've gone up about 2,000, 2,300 like subs. And I don't plan on letting the channel die again. But like, just gotta keep putting out content non-stop. Not burn out. I'd say every single day I watch an educational video on YouTube from different content creators. I don't watch just the same ones. Like I know a lot about how YouTube works. And like I can get a lot of my videos ranked up in the top things when you Google search something and stuff. Um, even versus some people that are just way, way more viewers and subs than I do. So I know how to properly tag and and rank things in SOE, which is super important. But like, I mean, I've had to learn video editing, photoshopping. Um, I'm an introvert and I hate talking. And like, you guys can see me here, I can talk nonstop. Like... What got me into YouTube? I, I don't know. Fucking years and years ago. Why not? I mean, I'm a video game bum. Would I love to be able to find a way to make money playing video games? Yeah, make it a living. That would be freaking awesome. I've been a video game bum my whole life. Having no major income and only playing video games. So why not? Go for it. It's all I really know at this point in life. I'm 32 years old. 50 to 60,000 hours in it. 
been offered to develop games and everything, but I just really don't like the drama and the bullshit and the industry is just such a shit show. Um, I don't know. I've always just been kind of like do my own thing kind of guy and not go with the flow when this is most certainly not with the flow of the world, you know? Making you cry. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing that's making you sad? Sit here and play fucking video games all the time? Beyonce went to fucking got her master's degree from Harvard with a 4.0. Like, I dated way up for being a video game book, guys. Broke as fuck. Live in a basement, but like, eh. That's, that's some downsides, but I get to play video games, you know? Exactly. And like, I've tried the college. I've dropped out of college like three times. Um, more my doing, not because I can't do it. Just, I fucking school doesn't work for me. This is what it is. My ideal dream here would be to get enough money doing this where I can start my own side business and put some of my engineering education and stuff to work and start making peripherals for video games. I'd love to make some mouses, some game cases, and put my knowledge of uh, video game peripherals and stuff to actual good use. There's a loot chest up here. And start that on top of also making videos and stuff, you know? If I listen to rap, do I like NBA Young Boy? I don't actually know who that is. And oddly enough, rap is mostly what I listen to. Hair, I listen to a lot of other music too, but like my... Like if I'm just by myself chilling, it's usually rap. But like right now, I've been listening to a lot of um, NF and... Um, uh, what the heck is it? Joyner Lucas and that kind of stuff. More lyrical rap. And super enjoying NF stuff. But like I listen to new music every single day for the most part. Like I really don't just listen to the same stuff over and over again. Just YouTube playlists, I let them spiral off into like the total like deep dark depths of the internet to try and find some good new music that I like. I've been tempted to make my music playlist public because I actually have it on this channel because this <laughs> for the longest time I used this channel as like my actual personal YouTube channel. So like all my subs and every day when I watch YouTube videos, it's always this channel. But I do have like a 300 playlist song music list. Just all different types from EDM to classic to rap to old rap to metal to rock. Yeah. As far as living and stuff, man, I just want to move to Maine. Get some land, get some dirt bikes, some snowmobiles, have fun. I love riding motorcycles and all that stuff. I would love to do some like blowing stuff up and shooting videos because I enjoy all that stuff too. Just having a really good time. Super jealous of like Node and the things they do with all their friends and everything. I think that would be an absolute blast. I'm just kind of zoned out now talking. Where is the... Here, right now. Never find the home base. They need to mark this thing better. Here we go. I don't know. I mean, the channel's growing. No reason to keep growing. I'll keep growing it. People say they like my content. They like me. They say I'm chill. A lot of people also say, holy crap, you stream and interact with the people in chat way better than a lot of other people do. And I was like, that's cool. It is definitely a developed skill. There are some of my friends who I have wanted to do collab videos with or do things like that. And I've recently had the like, well, it's not like to brag or talk about myself or anything, but it's like, it's really a learned skill. Like the fact that I can now just talk like this to my screen in my room by myself and like uh, just talk is, is like playing with them or watching these with them. They're just all quiet and stuff. Top five games of all time, in my opinion. Oh, shit. I don't know whole game series is in there can we put in like some of the original battlefield games then you have planet side which is fucking amazing you have um the mass effect trilogy you cannot go wrong with that by far one of my favorite games favorite memories all these aren't in any order they're just games i absolutely love the original battlefield games just because they were gown breaking the original and all the gta's are just fucking amazing Planet Side, Star Wars Galaxies, Anarchy Online, just for the scale and scope. 
are just so broken. There's still no games that large. This can go on and on forever. Those are some of the ones that come to my mind as like top, top. Have I played Bioshock? Yeah. Wasn't. It's like odd because you think I'd be super into that kind of game because of all the genres I say I, I like and stuff. But like, After I don't what know. you did in Freeport, only the best for you. I never got super into it. Which we'll buy this off. It's technically an upgrade. Uh, I don't really know if I want to spend that much for that many points of an upgrade. 10 point helmet upgrade though. We'll take the, this one for cheaper. Oh, four is enough. I'm in a mood. We're just gonna buy all new stuff, I guess. Take all the free upgrades. PS4, Xbox. See, I don't like either anymore. Um, all consoles can more or less go fuck themselves, in my opinion. Um, no offense to anyone that has any of them. Um, I'm glad you enjoy the way you game. I grew up gaming on consoles. I loved them from N64, NES, Super Nintendo, Xbox. I've always been an Xbox person growing up. I was always on that side of the camp all the way up to 360. But I think they stagnated games. I grew up playing Anarchy Online, Star Wars Galaxies, and Planetside, which were just these massive, over-the-top, insanely expansive, vast games. And then 360 came around and all PC games and hardware completely locked and froze in a time period for like 10 years. And I think it killed innovative gaming. Personal opinion. Don't actually know if it did or it didn't. But that's what I think. Um, Halo versus Call of Duty. I mean... Halo, but I'm an old school fanboy. I haven't played the last like five Halos or the last like 600 Call of Duties. So, yeah. Mostly a uh, PC guy, PC Master Race. That makes any sense? You know what I'm doing here. I mean, I came here to shop. Guess I could just go wander the open world and kill some things. Uh, Stream isn't over yet, but it will be over relatively shortly, so I don't want to get in the middle of anything like super long. Do -do -do -do. That was an upgrade. Where is a place we haven't really explored or gone anywhere near? Have any fobs out here at these places now? Why do I just have random places explored, but I have no bivouac out there let's go up here go for a walksy plus consoles nowadays like getting back on that topic because we're just ranting at this point like they're turning more and more into pcs anyways a lot of the games are starting to let um uh keyboard and mouse be used on consoles and do i have any idea how to convert a ps4 save to pc for red honesty no i have a clue in the world buddy sorry Say Google, Reddit would be your best bet. Be kind of surprised if you even can. Oh, it's fine. You can jerk off as much as you want. It's a good stress reliever. Some good dating sites out there. If you want to find a girl to do it for you, if you don't want to be jacking off all the time, but like. Nothing wrong with doing it yourself occasionally. But everyone, you heard it here, Dig approves of masturbation. What's up, hunters? I see you down there, being all sneaky-like. Your weird little patrol paths. Just because we're playing it this way, I'm taking out the guy in front first. Big, scary hunters. Kill witnessed. By who, what, where, when. You're a drone off my right. Well, I'm power sliding down rocks, and I'm about to get hunted. That's bad news. So, we're gonna get hunted here. Hopefully it's a chopper spawn, because I'm in a really, really bad spot. Apparently they did not like me just sniping all their hunters in the darn face. Looks like it is a chopper spawn because I'm in the rocks and they can't actually access me. And, uh, again, that's why you always carry a 50 cal with you. I missed. I whiffed. Ooh, and he dropped a yellow. Totally worth shooting these guys. As long as it's an upgrade, that is. What the fuck did you come from? 
Apparently the chopper spawn also spawned hunters. Ow. Well, luckily that shotgunner like missed ish. Okay. Not picking up the freaking um that gold apparently. Because there's just hunters all over the place. That's disappointing. Which 50 cal do I use? Whichever one they give me. What do I actually prefer would be the... What is the one called? The M82 is what I prefer to use. Because uh, I will take a semi-action over a bolt action any day. Anytime, any day, any place. But currently I'm using an HDI because it's the highest gear score I have. So I like to play the gear score game, which is just always have the highest gear score item equipped. Can you stop the sliding now, dude? Thank you. Why does that sound like a flying drone? It's because it is a flying drone. Of course it's a flying drone. Don't know. Haven't had one. Don't even know if there's a Popeyes anywhere near me. I live in the northeast coast. If I remember correctly, Popeyes is mostly a Midwest and... Uh, Southwest thing, right? Other thing? I don't exactly know where Popeye's mostly is. We have like BK, Wendy's, Chick fil A. I think there is a Popeye somewhere semi close to me, but like I don't. I don't eat fast food all that much. I don't. My fiance likes Chick fil A, so we eat there uh, a few times a month. Not even weekly. She would eat there weekly, but like it's expensive and I'm a really good cook, so normally I cook. Damn good cook. So I'm so fat. Saw all the new stuff about the Popeye's chicken sandwich. They know what the big deal is about, it's fucking chicken sandwich. I'm also not like a super crazy fan of chicken. I'm a seafood kind of guy. If I had to like pick my favorite type of meat to eat. Fish, crabs, lobsters, some shellfish. A lot of shellfish I don't like. Like I don't really like oysters. Mussels are good though. Clam strips I like. Clam bellies, not so much. But, like, I grew up on the East Coast, so seafood's always been very available. Readily available. So kind of sad I didn't get to pick up that gold item. I'm not gonna lie. It's more still just a curiosity. If I've seen at least one yellow gun that had like a gets bonus perks at nighttime, which was interesting to me, and I wonder how many, many other like weird mechanics there are like that in this game. Do do do. I normally don't stream during these hours, so like definitely a different crowd. Not making fun of you guys or saying one crowd is different than the other. I'm just surprised. Usually I have some regulars who like to chat it up on here nonstop. And I've seen all different people today, which is kind of cool. Like seeing new faces, new people coming on, growing. It's definitely a lot funner streaming with people watching and to talk to. That's for darn sure. <laughs> it gets really sad sitting in a room talking to yourself streaming for hours and hours and hours and hours by yourself apparently there's one of these drone things around here and they like to be loud and obnoxious and let everyone know they're here borderlands two or three um oh it's another odd question story-wise and campaign that i could replay and actually enjoy replaying and level alts borderlands 2 games that I could enjoy more and have fun playing because of gameplay and looting and fighting things. Borderlands 3. Hit me up on Discord sometimes, bro. You're a funny as fuck guy. Thank you. I do appreciate that. That's on my list of things I need to do is set up a Discord server. I have one. I just don't have all the permissions and everything set up properly to invite everyone onto it. But there will be a public Discord for everyone at some point to have some chat channels and talk about some stuff and just that kind of stuff community stuff you know i led that target too much yeah 
I'm glad I could copy your answer to a T. Thank you. Off with your legs. I don't know why I enjoy this game so much and just wandering around doing this stuff to random, like... I'm not even really like, doing anything. I'm just wandering around in the open world and I enjoy it. That's a drone. I can do that too, goat. You're not special. I'll got vocal cords. No, don't get in the passenger seat. No, don't get in the gunner seat. Investigate. Really need to change some of their priorities here. I would do like a system of priorities like based on distance. So if you're closer to the vehicle, that takes priority. If you're farther away, that takes priority. Add another variable in there. On top of the uh, weighted priority for just what it is versus the other thing. Here another drone. Uh, I get hunted. If I get hunted out here, odds are I'm dead. Not like, am I doing anything else? And is there any penalty for death? No. Am I running into a fucking drone protected area? Well hunted? Well, yes. Apparently that's what we're doing. This is gonna end horribly. Get inside the building. Didn't see the exclamation marks for my hunted people. Could go wrong, they said. Just go in the building, they said. Everything would be fine, they said. Yeah, right. Fucking bunch of wolves are gonna walk up in here and murk me. If I headshot them all, I don't know why I went to first person on that one? Everything's fine. Everything is a hundred percent under fucking control. Everybody, I've got one rocket. hear those flying drones out there. I don't know what's the bigger threat. Um, the Vector would be my absolute favorite gun in this game by far, so far. Um, I've loved it in real life and in all games since like its conception. I thought the design was really cool. I love the rate of fire on it. I love that it's a 45 caliber. I just, I love the gun in general. I have like a love affair with that gun. Get him! Oh yeah, I nailed his ass. I love, especially being a solo player, being able to put down that rate of fire and just, it feels so good and it just kills things so fast. Um, I didn't, I guess I can't say I used it a lot in Wildlands. The SMGs in Wildlands were very, very, very underwhelming, I think. Um, I think they did the SMGs proud and proper in this game. They're actually like viable and way more useful. What the heck is shooting me? Is that a human or is that just that drone picking rounds off at me through a door crack like an asshole? Everything's fine. We got this 100% under control. Now we just need to deal with these flying drone things. It was in front of me. Son of a bitch. I thought I saw a tracer round come from behind me. Top five luxury across, uh, I don't know. That's a hard one. Especially because I played Borderlands 2 at launch and then right after, right before, I finished it like a day before Borderlands 3 came out. And like I didn't farm in it, I didn't get that many legendaries in it, so I can't really say. But some of the doll legendaries in this one just feel the best to use and the funnest to use, in my opinion. Bearcat's fun, but like overall, I really, really like Moses' infinite grenade build. I just think it's fun. It's terrible that I think that kind of gameplay is fun. Just throwing grenades nonstop. 
but I do. The B shield was so broken. Oh, busted. But we did just clear this place. Well being hunted. I did not expect to do that with ease. Screw you, chopper. You can have a nice day. Yes, there is a most build for that on the channel. Now, given an hour before that video went live, they nerfed it kind of. So it's not as ridiculous as it is in that video. It is still a very ridiculous build. It is still a viable build, but you actually have to not just button mash G. You actually have to like slow down your G pressing a little bit. And like if you run a bear cat with it, which isn't in that video because I didn't have a bear cat or know about the bear cat because I hadn't gotten to it yet. Um, with it, you can never run out of grenades because the bear cat triggers your grenade procs, which then gives you more grenades back. So it's just a really nice thing to put in there with that build. But it's like super lazy. And like I understand that's not everyone's play style, but I've always liked pet builds and just being lazy, sir. I mean, prove you wrong? What are we doing? Are we doing Circle of Slaughter? Because then you're 100% correct. Are we farming a boss? Then I would take a flak. It's like, uh, if we did a loot off here of how many items can we loot in an hour or two hours while boss farming, the flak would win. But if we did that same competition versus, like, Circle of Slaughter, Moses would win. Oh shit. Oh, I need to pull back to some sort of cover, even if it's just soft cover. Oh, this is bad. Really bad. I did not see those guys off to my right and left. So many guys everywhere. But anyways, guys, my food's about to be here, and so is my fiance, and she works from like 4.30 in the morning till 7.30 at night. She works so far away in the city. And I'm going to go spend some time with her. So I will see you guys in the next live stream, and I really do appreciate you all being here. I always do my outros wrong. If you guys saw how many takes I have to do in my videos, it'd be ridiculous. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you all being here. The support does mean a whole lot. And I will see you in the next video. Dig big, yo!